What? Where's my hat? Why am I angry? <laughs> what the heck? Hello? <laughs> Hi everybody! How's it going? <laughs> she woke up and chose violence. Yeah, apparently I did. I did. I yeah. I guess so. Hope you're all doing really well. The little void man. Hello, Frost. I'm angry. I I was. Oh my god. I was a little bit a little bit angry today. I was. You would like to be in the jar? Yes, you may be in the jar. Where are you? There you are. There you go. I was... <laughs> oh, no. It's just, just like, typical dumb stuff, like, at work. You know how it be. You know how it be. Oh, day jobs. When you gotta deal with people that make you a little bit mad. That's just how it be. <laughs> But it's fine. Murder smooches will make it better, yes. I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm I'm home. Oh, I've had time to decompress. I ate some really good food. I had some cookies. <laughs> I got my freaking gamer subs. You got COVID? Oh, heck, I really hope that you, like, get better. I hope your symptoms aren't too bad. That freaking sucks. I'm sorry, I literally ate all the cookies. I literally just ate all the cookies. It was one of those, like, it was those, um... Uh, it was like those, uh, like, chocolate-coated graham cookies. They're very good. They're very tasty. I, I, they were good. They were very good. Fine, besides the stuff he knows. Okay, that's good. I'm glad. You're gonna make some dessert. Heck yeah. You're so nervous right now. I sleep in the same room as my mom and it's 2 a.m. Oh, bread! Go to sleep! <laughs> Don't wake up your mom! <laughs> Don't wake up your your mom! Oh my gosh. I don't blame you for the uh, chocolate grams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yourself some food. You just had ice cream sundae? Nice. Nice. Heck yeah. Did you guys all have, like, dessert yet? Did you guys all have, like, your supper and your dinner yet? It's like, it's like midnight, past midnight for most of you guys. So I hope you all had dinner. Middle of a blackout? Holy heck. Good chocolate cake? Nice. It's 4 p.m.? We're well, gonna get your dinner soon. Eating dinner now? Heck yeah, nice. You had pizza and it was mid. I'm sorry. Come here from TikTok? I saw you pick up your followers uh, and shame them, and that's kind of my thing. <laughs> that does not happen often. I mean, it, it doesn't happen often, okay? It only happens when you say something extremely just out there. Um... <laughs> But don't don't expect it to happen. And if you like again, as said, if it's something that you enjoy, it's not gonna happen to you. I'm not doing this for you, okay? If that if you're asking for it, you're not gonna get it. Just saying. <laughs> Normally she just evaporates you, yeah. It's true, you all disintegrate. And you go into my hat. Hello, Gemis. Hello, hello. How you doing? Yeah, good. I'm glad you're gonna get some sleep bread. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in. I want to ask, what are those things? Those, it's you guys. Yeah, they're you. What if they say pretty please? No. 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 You can ask to be put in the jar and I will gladly put you in the jar. That's what it's there for. But I will no longer carry you around and like throw you around and stuff. But yeah, it's you guys. Look at you guys are like super cute. You're all super adorable. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna take a sippy. Has anyone ever survived evaporation? Yes, you guys like, like, could you pick me up please? Yeah, I can. Where are you? I'm trying to get you. There you are. 
There's breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs goes into the jar. There you go. <laughs> you would like to be in the jar? You will be in the jar. There you go. <laughs> Can't sleep, so hello. Oh, well, hello, Isaac. Yes, you can be in the jar. See how polite everyone is? Everyone is so polite. As soon as you say, like, I'm not going to do something, uh, if it's for a weird thing, then they're like, okay, can I please go in the jar? And I'll be like, okay. And I'll put you in the jar. Can I go on your hat? I, uh, man, I need to make a platform, like, right up here to, like, put you guys on my hat. I should do that. I should, like, figure out how to do that. How do I become one of the small gremlins? You are already one. You already are a little voidling. As soon as you are a follower, as soon as you follow me and you talk in the chat, you are immediately just recruited and part of the part of the party. Part of the group. Uh, one of us. Healthy boundaries, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a bigger jar, yeah, probably. Oh, a jar trip, yes. Absolutely, absolutely devotee. Let me let me see if I can find you again. I need to I need to like where are you? Are you already in the jar? You might actually already be in the jar. Wait, look up. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh there you are. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. <laughs> there's, there's Devotee. <laughs> yeah, have a great night, Fred. Sleep well. <laughs> yeah, jar buddies. We've nearly breached the jar. <laughs> yeah, because I, I trust, I trust that Devotee is not going to be weird. I trust that. Gotta go order some food. Yeah, get yourself some food. We're gonna play a murder mystery game. And it is also a dating sim. I don't know how we're gonna find... Like, I'm just wondering. Like, are we a detective? Are we a detective? Um, trying to solve a murder case? And, like, at the same time, we're going on dates? While investigating this murder? A detective looking for love? Yay! <laughs> And a murderer. Can you romance the murderer? I don't know. That's what we're gonna find out. Isn't it gonna be so messed up if we can? I I I I hope that there's an opportunity to do that. I think it would be freaking hilarious. Private detectives always get the girls. That's the thing. That's the thing. We we are we are. I think we're a female protagonist. I don't. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check. Murderer is gonna steal our heart now. Yeah, probably. Are we gonna be Batman but with social skills? <laughs> Does Batman not have social skills? Batman's a philanthropist. You'd, you'd think that protagonist is any gender. Oh, heck yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, a non me. Oh, Bruce Wayne does. Bruce Wayne is a philanthropist. Batman, yeah. I guess, I guess by extension, that means that he's also good with people. Is he a philanthropist, though? I don't know. He understands that bad guys are just lashing out from trauma. Yeah, it's true. He doesn't want to, like... He just wants to, like... He wants to rehabilitate them. He's like, fucking... Go to jail. Think about what you did. Get better. I, but, like, I guess it all depends on, like, uh... If Love Interest is guilty, will we cover it up? I have no idea. We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> It'll be freaking funny if the love interest is a murderer, though. I love the kind of girl that actually can just kill me. <laughs> Spike from Cowboy Bebop, yeah. <laughs> you ask to be put in the jar. Yes, you may go in the jar, Zirium. I grant you your wish. <laughs> Batman the Animated Series, though. Which one are we talking about? Okay, but which one are we talking about? Are we talking about, like, the, like, friggin... Can Gawaino be in the jar? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. 
Imagine forcing the killer to date you or you would arrest them. That's blackmail. Oh my god. <laughs> That's blackmail. OG Beyond is cool too. I remember Batman Beyond. I remember that one. That was pretty good. Why are we dating a killer? Oh, we don't know if we're going to be dating the killer yet, Amari. We're not entirely sure. Maybe. Maybe not. We shall see. Hey, to be fair, they killed someone. I mean, yes. But like, okay. Picture this, right? Let's say... Let's say the detective does blackmail the murderer and like, uh, manipulate them into a relationship, but the murderer is not at all like interested in the detective. And then the detective turns out to be very unhinged. I don't know, at, th at that point, I think that the, the detective is kind of bad. Cause the detective is, is allowing this murderer to be free. So the detective is enabling this. They're both bad, I think, if that's the case. Hello, Luca. Hello. Hello, Janes. Why are you even thinking along that line, Alfie? I don't know. I, I think about stuff. <laughs> Being evil to a bad person doesn't make you good. Exactly. Two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> Hold love interest and become the victim because MC gets too close to the truth. Yeah, I don't know. You think? I do think. <laughs> Two rights make a left. No, because if I if I go right two times, then I'm going backwards. Yeah, three rights. <laughs> I had to think about that one. <laughs> Two rights make a U-turn. <laughs> it's true. Ark of Tourists, thank you so much for the two months. Thank you, thank you. I thought it was five rights, four lefts, two ups, seven downs that make a right. If that's a reference to something, I don't think I, I don't think I grasped it. I may not have grasped it. Wrong squared equals right. We're not doing math today. We're playing a murder mystery dating sim. All right? If we're doing any sort of subject, it's going to be like English lit or something. That's what we're doing. <laughs> so if I'm in the middle of a storm and I drown, I make a U-turn to land. Wait. Are you all are you like underwater? Are you like <laughs> Rinsler, hello! Welcome in! Murder mystery dating sim? Are we dating a bunch of murderers? I'm not sure! I'm re I really don't know! I really don't know! Re you know what? You know what? Let's go find out! What do you say? Let's go find out, everyone! Yeah! Into the hut! Oh, who stayed in the jar? Zerium. Okay, well, Zerium stayed in the jar. <laughs> Zerium stayed in the jar. <laughs> to the hat. <laughs> to the game screen. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna interrogate some murderers. All right, we're gonna interrogate them. All right, I'm gonna pause the music here. All right. You didn't want to leave, but we gotta play the game. We're gonna play the game. We're gonna play the dating sim game, the murderer dating sim. All right. Oh, where's the sound?
I need sound to function, please. Ah, there we go. Hello, Avon. How you doing? How are you? Turned it off. No, it's 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 back. It's back. I have my audio settings done in a in a specific way. Um so that I can like turn it off on a whimsy without having to turn off the uh it, 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 sound stuff, settings and everything. Anyway, we got this. We're going to date some kill it possibly, maybe. The setting of this game is A+. I'm very excited. I have actually not heard of this game. This game came out in June of this year. So it's actually pretty fresh. It's pretty new. But I've not heard of it. And I'm very excited. I've not played a dating sim in a while. And I'm curious about this one. Definitely curious. <laughs> I think I think I don't I don't think I need to use like your first foray into Mask of the Rose is unlikely to end as happily as you might hope. Never mind. Savor your successes. Delight in your disasters. Try again. A wiser in the ways of the Neath. The city is okay. In February 1862, with no warning at all, London fell through the surface of the earth. We fell. We fell through the surface of the... Okay. Okay, so the city just... This was meant to be a year of progress and industry. The Great Exposition. Trams. A new sewer system. Instead, we find ourselves dwelling in a cave. It's October now. The fires have been put out. The bodies have been buried. But the future remains unimaginable. The time before, impossibly distant. It's a prequel to Fallen London setting. Ooh! Yeah, no, we straight up just fell. London fell underground. Who were you in the past? A dock worker's child? My father worked the docks, unloading ships. My uncle was a sailor. We were brought on the right side of the law, but the same couldn't always be said of our friends. The docks are allied with the working class and with criminals. A child of the gentry. My family had an estate on the surface. My father was a magistrate. All that is unreachable, all that is unreachable now, of course. I had the bad fortune to be in London during the fall, and now there is no going back. But I do have a few connections here. The landed gentry hobnob in high society and with the constabulary. You can really say, oh, London, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> see you later, Goeno. He see ya. Uh... In the Neath. Is it Neath or Neath? I'm, I'm assuming it's pronounced like Neath. A giant cave... Neath. Okay, the Neath. A tailor. My family kept a tailoring shop with aspirations. Short for underneath. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I tried to make it sound cool. We dressed our uh, customers better than we dressed ourselves. Housebreaker shop. Oh, it's locked. I can't play that one. Okay, um. Let's go with. I want to go with a tailor. I want to be a tailor. Part of the working class. <laughs> Down here, your name is whatever you say it is. Often, there's no one left to remember who you used to be. Some people hold tight to the names they carried before. Some reinvent themselves completely. I prefer strangers to address me as... Comrade! <laughs> uh, 
sister. No. Madame! Mademoiselle! Miss. I like miss. Miss. Comrade! <laughs> Though my friends call me Alfina. <laughs> Comrade Alfie. Miss Alfina, that suits me. I'm not Jerry. That's me. Alfina to my friends, Miss to strangers. That's how I was addressed before, even before London fell. I'm a different person now here than I was above. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. Cameo that best represents you. Okay, so this was... Okay, cool, cool. I get to pick a, a character. Kondozi, hello, welcome in. This one has glasses. Do any other ones have glasses? This one has glasses. Not many, not many glasses. The top right? Yeah, the top right's good. The top right's really nice. This one has glasses. <laughs> Down here I can finally be who I am. Oh, is it? I didn't even I didn't even pick that up, but that's cool. Okay, I'm going to pick uh, this one. Middle four. Middle four. This one. She looks very posh. I wanna take I wanna take this one. This guy? Yeah, this guy's got a cool beard. I like this one. He looks like he's got like wings. This one's neat. I'm gonna take this one. She looks very she looks very normal. Feather scarf, yeah. In the Neath, a true ally means everything. When I find people to be close to, I am open to. I'm open to... Friendship and romantic emotions? Wait, what? Whatever comes my way! I'll be looking for both romantic feelings and a physical connection. Friendship and matchmaking are possible too, of course. That'd be the serial killers like. <laughs> what would the serial killers like? I don't know. I'm a tailor. Heart's desire, passionate romance. She looks like, oh my god. I feel like this literally just describes one of those like, those like, uh, uh, like ladies that like oh what do you call them like lonely lonely like women like at the office that read their romance novels and they like daydream of like having a a passionate romance i guess maybe a cat lady i don't know this is fun though i like this <laughs> i mean sure liz it could be you are you an old maid now? I don't know. <laughs> How does this not scream I'm gonna fuck the murderer? <laughs> yeah, I guess spinsters work, yeah. Right now, I'm meant to be helping with the census. Finding out who still lives in my neighborhood. The first census results are due tomorrow. Okay, so this this is new. Okay. If I turn them in, I get paid. The first money to come my way in nearly two months. Okay, so this was... Okay, the, the them falling is recent. If I don't, I'm going to disappoint Grizz badly. Spinster, Spinster really vibes with the Taylor Pass. Yeah! She knew I was in trouble, so she went out of her way to find me work with her own employers. She even gave me a badge to show my affiliation. Ooh! Badge of the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting! <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate! Cat lady is in many house cats, or cat girl is in 
No! Cat lady is in many house cats. Thank you for the hydrate. Everyone take a sip. Mm. The front of the badge looks almost like a constable's badge, but with the lion and unicorn blazoned on it. The back of the badge has some kind of symbol I don't recognize. Hot to the touch. Hello, Forbidden Soul! Welcome in! Welcome to the void! Please enjoy your stay. <laughs> I keep it with the clothes I have from before the fall, and a few odd items I found more recently. A burning sigil? Yeah! There has to be, like, some sort of weird demon- We fell underneath the earth. There's absolutely, like, some weird, like, demonic stuff going on. 100%. Not demon? Deep lore. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's normal, okay? I, I, I suppose we will find out, Possum. I keep it with the clothes I have from before the fall, and a few odd items I found more recently. Change my outfit? Okay, I guess I'll change my outfit. I don't have a choice. Oh, I can pick a hat! I guess I can't pick a hat. I, I can't pick a face. All right. <laughs> Gonna be the cutest thing in the club, yeah? <laughs> With no face. What, what kind of shirt can I wear? I'm just gonna wear my, my thing. Yeah, let's go. Freaking shopkeeper's apron. Let's do it. I- Oh, does this mean that I can go buy clothes and stuff? <gasps> I can dress myself up. Oh, that's Grizz. Okay. Ah, oh, I thought you were up here. She glances at the badge I'm wearing. I suppose I should be glad you're thinking about the census, even if you didn't get around to leaving the house. Apron and nothing else. <laughs> I'm wearing clothes underneath the apron. I react to the... Why are we doing a slow zoom in? No, this, this... No. I react to that the way I react to many things these days. Uh... I, I, I dare to name the frightening things out there. I'm not sure what we'll meet out... Oh, that's me. I'm not sure what we'll meet out there. Not everything outside is a human. Rumors. Don't let a few odd things in the broadsheets frighten you. I don't want to get closer to this lady! This... Come tomorrow evening, we need to have at least a few census forms filled out. Or I'm going to be the one explaining to Mr. Pages. And if that happens, I'm not going to help you with your employment prospects again. Grizz works for the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting. It seems to agree with her. She wears trousers to work and comes home at all hours. I <laughs> it's very important to her being taken seriously by these employers. The next thing I do is characteristic too. Uh, uh... Confront her with her own mistakes? No. Offer encouragement, however bleak the situation. Yeah. You're good at your work, and I think that your employers must see it. Though they are unusual. It's based in the 1920s, right? Oh, probably? I mean, it feels like it. Definitely seems that way. Grizz employers are unusual. She says she's never seen their faces. Nice. Mr. Pages will book in him for later. 1862? Oh my gosh. Okay, extremely old. Don't think about morals. Think about the hot murders in your area. Yeah, we're not... We're, I'm not going to go for Grizz. We're not going to... I'm not going to date Grizz. But if you ever need to evade them, we could conceal you in the basement. Mr. Pages, angry. It doesn't bear thinking about. How Hello, is Mr. my Pet favorite Gaming. void witch doing today and how's the eldritch cat? I also hope chat is doing well anyway. Hello, EV1. Oh, hello, Mr. Pet Gaming. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'm doing very well. Triton is doing well, as you can see. He just naps when I play video games. 
And we're playing a, a murder mystery dating sim. I hope you are doing well. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What do you think of the questions? They're written in the most peculiar spiked handwriting, and there are punctures in the paper in random spots. Uh, ask her what put the holes in these paper. S stare magnificently at her. <laughs> That's how we stare. <laughs> yeah, it's a murder mystery dating sim. Yeah, I'm not staring. I don't want to. I don't want to give her the wrong idea. Hello, Giz. Welcome to the void. Thank you so much for the follow. Why does this page look like this? Do your employers know how to use a pen? I have not seen them writing. I have only seen the ink on their sleeves afterwards. And do they have claws? Whatever their methods, they are trying to restore London, to feed everyone and create some kind of order. <laughs> what is the answer? Answer to what? Hello, Hydro. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the void. Please enjoy your stay. The answer to what, Bubbly? Sounds culty to me. It does sound a bit cultish, but I mean, we are, we're like, this, the entire city fell underground. <laughs> Celise, thank you for the follow. Algebra, thank you for the follow. Here, try the questions on me. Say you've just knocked on the door and I have come to answer it. <laughs> you. Yes, what do you want? Uh. Introduce myself. Good evening. On behalf of the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting, I have a few questions. Oh, how lovely. I'm so grateful these ministries are looking after us. <laughs> yeah, hello, Scorpion. Welcome in. The <laughs> uh, challenger performance? Straightforwardly accept her performance. Uh, flirtatiously riff on how excellent the ministry is? No, thanks. This is not too hard. Go on, then. What's the first question? Read out the first question. How many people live in this establishmentation? Establishmentation? Wouldn't just establishment be fine? Bionicle, hello. Welcome in. Is that a word? Is is that word establishment? Oh, she was thinking the same thing, yeah. <laughs> My superiors are enthusiastic embellishers of the language. Who are your superiors? If you like, I can uh, translate into questions that are more likely to be understood. Right. How many people live in this establishment? Four. The landlady, Miss Horatia Chapman, a young man named Archibald Reed, myself, and a fourth character, very disreputable. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Point out that there used to be more, more lodgers. Proper posh dialogue. Oh, I'm not very posh, though. A reduced number. There used to be others. I know, but there's no point in... We don't know what happened to them. It's possible... I tell myself it's possible that they were spared this. Left behind on the surface. Go full British? I do not want to butcher the accent. I really don't. <laughs> I don't trust myself to get the accent, like, good. Maybe there's a second London up there, going on about its business, never noticing that some of us vanished. Sometimes I'm in no mood to keep in I'm in the mood to keep chatting and sometimes I want to get to the point. Uh blah, 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 I've learned enough. I read the remaining questions over quickly, enough to prove to Grizz I know what I'm ta I'm about. I know what I'm about. I think I convinced her I won't do too badly. This moment a second visitor walks in. Archie's a medical student. He hadn't finished his training before the fall, but he has plenty of work now. 
Random moving mannequin? No, I am me. I am me. Right after the fall, it was broken bones and cuts. Lately, there are fewer wounds and more diseases. <laughs> no, it will not be a new redeem crew. I wondered where you were. Point out that he could knock before entering my, entering my room. Greet Archie. Gee whiz! Okay, we just like we can like just go freaking all in. Um, I'll, I'll just welcome him, I guess. Good to see you, Archie. You can go guns blazing. Yes, call call it a morning call. Just a bit mistimed. Out I went this morning to visit a patient. Oh god, they, they're like, they're doing the whole accent with the wording. Like with the spelling. To visit a patient, and what do I find pasted up on the wall? He holds up a broadsheet. There's a new decree from the Ministry of Cartography and Chirography that all maps and atlases are to be surrendered or put on the fire. He's Irish? Some, so I guess, maybe? I, I can't, I'm, maybe? We wait for old man to roam. <laughs> I am, I am gonna wait till I see all my options. Probably not the best for you to be a witch when it's the 1960s. You know, that's a very good point. I won't, I will not mention it. I will make sure not to bring it up. It's nearly 1 a.m. Please remember that if you need to get some sleep, do not be afraid to do so. It is very important to get some rest. Oh, thank you for the trade pet. After watching a lot of Star Trek, he's indeed primarily Irish origin. And thank you for the hydrate. All right. It's your folk making these rules, Grizz. Um, mum, 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 mum. Uh, I'm going to stay out of this. Hello, Toasty. Been meaning to check out this game. How are you liking it so far? I'm completely new to this. Supposedly, this is a prequel to uh, another series. Or to a series, I guess. Uh, but I am completely new to this, and I'm very, very excited to see what it's about. Freaking murder mystery dating sim? Heck yeah. Yeah, get some rest, Hydro. Sleep well. It's your folk making these rules, Grizz. I have no view. Will you be asking your Mr. Pages about these maps? Grizz hesitates. It's a relief to speak frankly. The Ministry of Chirography and Cartography is new. I don't think that existed yesterday. <laughs> it's chronologically the first game in the Fallen London franchise. Oh. Your 1860 London witch tailor double life is safe with chat, Alfina. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do not want to be burned at the stake. Uh, note that it's a bit unnerving. Hello, Stinger! It does give the sense that everything's a bit precarious. If you did not have that sense already, what with the stalactite that fell on the South Wark yesternight? Yesternight! Uh, oh, the game is a uh, murder mystery dating sim stinger. And I think that is the most fitting description. <laughs> These are all very reasonable points. Very well, I'll see what I can find out about this. But it might take some time. Yeah, I'm very excited. I want to meet all the characters, all the dateable characters. Alfina, please do collect at least a few census forms by tomorrow from whatever Londoners you are able to find. At the end of the day, I'll find you and we can take them to Mr. Pages together. I want to see who Mr. Pages is. Deliver a filled census form to Pages. Do you know what I miss the most? Is it the sun? Back home, my sister's hair turned color when it rained. Blonde to wet plaster brown. You miss your sister's wet hair? I'm sorry, that's a red flag, dude. Like a mad hen, she looked. 
Okay. <laughs> Weird, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not dating this guy. I'm glad that I did not flirt with him. Bye. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how, how you feeling, buddy? Uh, how you holding up? Worse than Grizz, I will not lie. Seems there's no road here. Out of here. Oh, man, I cannot do this. F I'm just gonna talk normal. Uh, food from the Masters, we, rep we reprieve, but then when you think of all else that might kill us below, scurvy and the like... A great hulk and rock fell on a house in Southwark. Did the roof and near Tay killed the whole household. But I'd best be quiet. I'd like to give you nightmares too. I'd like to? Like to give you nightmares too, and I'm fair out a lot in them to help with the sleep. But I, <laughs> I love this. Genuinely, like, I can read it in my head very, very well, but reading it out loud is, is, is like, yeah, aggressively <laughs> It's great! Uh, okay, uh, talk about the census. We had a job to do. Grizz has me gathering census pages for the ministry. Aye, Grizz told me it was some such thing. He wants everyone to know he's from Scotland. <laughs> uh, simply ask about his romantic commitments? No! Are you in love with- What the fuck? That's not what I asked! What the, What did I ask? Did I click the wrong one? I just wanted to click the, the middle one! I don't want to ask him about his love life! That's not my business! Are you in love with anyone? Or promised anyone, perhaps, from before the fall? Down here? There's no one. What about before Judgment Day? I was the last back home, and what did me mother do but promise me to her? Uh, read the situation in the most generous light. You'll get back up there. I'm not a creep. I don't want to date this guy. There must be a great deal of trust and affection in your family if you're able to rely on each other so much. Aye, well, there's, there's no many people where I come from, so it serves not to make enemies of any of them. <laughs> the question has stirred recollections he's not considered for a time. Is it bad to say I've not much thought of her since? She has very even teeth. That's what you... That's what you remember? My mother said overlapping teeth in a woman mean defiance, and gaps mean the light skirt. What the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> what are these superstitions?! What are these freaking superstitions? Oh my, old timey beliefs. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> offer possibly unwelcome views on his mother. I'm just gonna keep that shit to myself. I see. Ah, don't look so stiff. Stop! I'm not wanna flirt with them. Bye. Okay, bye, Archie. I gotta go do shit. See ya. If I'd met the like of you in Scotland, I might never have come to London. The thought hits me, but I don't show it. No, I mean, we're keeping this purely platonic, my dude. Uh <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> You're not gonna just turn him down. I did. I, I, I did. I, I'm just gonna keep it platonic. We're we're friends, and that's it. Archie, he's not a catch. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep track of everything in my journal. What conversations I've had, the plans I've made. Gonna need a whole chug reading for that guy. <laughs> You could have shut it. I don't want to be mean. That's the thing. I just, like, if it, see, the thing is, if I shut him down, maybe he 
can't help me in my investigations later, okay? I gotta keep my friendships as friendships, you know? That is not true, Toasty! A useful at excuse me. A useful asset, yes, thank you, Jalemma. Uh Emma. Uh he's going to He's going to going to go f full creep mode? I don't know. Uh I oh okay, I, I might literally just is this my diary? Deliver a filled census form to pages. These are my these are my quests. Season of confession There's a time? Oh no, okay. I thought this was like a countdown. This has just been 259 days since the fall. It's not even been a year. Holy heck. All right. Acquaintances. Who's Horatia? <laughs> he's just talking about hair and her teeth and sprint. Yeah. You think he's a serial killer? Man, we, I don't even think a death has happened yet. <laughs> Day one, pre-fall. I've known Archie since shortly before the fall. Day 259, confessions. Archie, Archie confided about what he misses on the surface. His sister. I finished taking the census with Archie. I gave up any interest in Archie. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. <laughs> ah, a death you know of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, back. Two hundred sixty days since the fall. Thirteen days remain in the season of confessions. What the heck is the season of confessions? Is it February? The newspapers aren't what they used to be, but someone is still printing broadsheets these days. The headlines today read: Beware ailments caused by lack of sunlight, cholera, scurvy, female distemper. What the fuck is female distemper? Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> relive the fall of London. This will not cause time to pass. I don't want to freaking relive the fall. That sounds scary. Oh, Jesus. I'm already always reliving London's last night on the surface. <laughs> Very Victorian England. Truly an 1860s moment. Yeah. I try to put it out of my head, but it's still there. The dimming of the sun at three in the afternoon. The sky turning the color of rust. The horrible bang and the cloud of dust from the direction of Westminster. The tolling of the bells. Everything is on fire! The horsemen who rode down the street deliveried in the garb of the palace, shouting, in Her Majesty's, in Her Majesty's name, go indoors. And then the sky was full of bats. Oh, they're not birds, they're bats. More bats than I thought could exist in the world. Wheeling, shrieking, defecating. People went indoors then. They'd ignored the criers. Those that had no house crowded into the churches and under the bridge. <laughs> Even now, I don't understand. How Her Majesty knew to send criers. That so many bats could exist in the world. Now I'm gonna click this one. How did the queen know? How did she know? She made a deal with the devil. The palace has been shuttered since that day. The royal family do not emerge. Surely, if they had known this was coming, they would have departed London. It was the only. It was the only the city that fell. The rest of England, we assume, remains above. <laughs> this is Archie. I reckon it's a tornado. I've heard. I've heard of somewhat similar in the Welsh hills back in back to 1760. Nay, lights in the sky and a noise like a thunderclap. That's no tornado, love. That's a plague of Egypt. Uh. 
I intervened before they annoyed one another. Yeah, you chill out. We don't know what this is. The newspapers will tell us in the morning what it was. Leastwise, it'll make a good story for the letters home. Glasgow... Uh, <clears throat> Glasgow will be envious of our London fashions. Then the ground shook again, and we all fucking plummeted. I believe we can blame Mr. Bazalgette's excavations, digging about under London, causing a seismic disturbance. The Queen... <laughs> That's why they don't treat people in this game like it's the 1860s. Uh, I don't- I, I think that the game would probably not be too, like, uh... Like, like that. Uh, it's probably gonna make some callbacks here and there, but nothing too brash, nothing too bad. What did he find doing- DOOMED there! But a cave of three million bats, is that what you reckon? Do they say reckon? Is reckon- because when I when I hear the word reckon, I don't I don't think Scotland. I don't think a Scottish accent. There are stranger things beneath London. It won't go full LA Noir probably. I haven't even played LA Noir. I've never played that game. It looked it looked fun though. That was the beginning of it, but we were down there for hours and hours. Cowboys ruin the word reckon for you? Yeah, pretty much. I just hear it as like, yeah, Wild West. Yeah, it, it's very Wild West to me. The sky darkened and it didn't return to normal. Once, around midnight, Grizz went upstairs and opened the door to the street, but she came right back down again. Uh, <laughs> Press X to down. You'd like LA Noir, though it's hard and very dark. Oh, is it hard? Anyone thirsty? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Everyone take a sippy. She said the cobbles were galloping about. It wasn't safe to walk outside. Mm. After that first bit, the memories collide and get confused. I have trouble keeping track of which came first and which came later, and whether I'm imagining something. Oh, okay, I see what you're trying to say, Possum. I get it. I spent a lot of days like this, thinking back, trying to piece together the bits of the puzzle. <laughs> Only thing I have to sip is a bottle of NyQuil, and I don't think I should. You don't have any water? You don't have, like, a, a bottle of water with you, or maybe some, like, tea? Some tea or something. Uh, if I could realize something that would make sense of it all. As if I could realize something to make sense of it all. You only preach the truth? Uh huh. Adjust your current outfit. I don't have. I don't think I have other outfits. I, I'm pretty sure all I have right now is my apron. We're gonna go buy some clothes boarding house. Okay, I guess the only place I can go is here. Take the census with Harjit. Time to time to work! It's worth it to be mindful of how others will perceive me. What, I ro what role I play, what I can and cannot say, is constrained by my clothes. Yeah, so I'm a tailor! So freaking what? I make your clothes for you! This was true before the fall, but it's even truer now. Names, identities, and relationships have all become so unsteady and unreliable. Harjit admires duty, but does not always care for the ministry. It's hard to say what impression the badge makes on him. Uh... I don't care. I'm gonna stick to this. I'm on the job! You just make clothes. We found the cheat class. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. The streets outside Mrs. Chapin Chapman's are not easy. Thanks to my family history, I do know where to find the nearest market that specializes in clothing. Ah, clothes! Uh, likely just a corruption of Hogs Lane, but I'd keep my pet pig on a leash all the same. But whenever I need to find more items, it's Harjit who helps me. I have something for you, if you want it. 
He produces a nearly new admiral's hat in perfect- Ooh, I got a hat now! I found it near the docks. No sign of the owner, and I can't wear it myself. I thought someone at Mrs. Chapman's might get use out of it. Perhaps Lady Griselda. Oh, her full name is Griselda, and we shortened it to Grizz. Okay, I understand. I don't like this hat. Trimmed with gold braid, it makes a person look like a respectable representative of the Navy. Blech. Clothes make an impression on other people when I wear them. They make an impression on me, too. Sometimes I'm inspired to say things I wouldn't otherwise. I have a feeling this particular hat would make me a bit gruff and commanding. No, I don't want to put my... Uh, freaking... Uh... I'm taking the hat off. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm just... Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. He put... Uh, he could have a penny or two for it by selling it on to a second-hand clothes merchant. Harjit is silent. Um... Explain apologetically about the census. Uh... Did we meet Mr. Pages yet? No, not yet. I'm doing the census now, and once I'm done my census, then we can meet Mr. Pages. I'm sorry for the interruption, but I've been sent to ask a few questions of the citizens of London, or those who survived at any rate. I am not sure what the masters have in mind. Nonetheless, it, it would be a help. I see. London was determined to collect everyone's name even before the fall. Uh... It's a peculiarity of the English. Um... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I just need the information for planning. I, we're just keeping tabs. Actually, you know what? That's kind of sus. But whatever. The idea is to find out how many mouths need feeding. A list like that is never put only to one use. But never mind. You do not have to explain yourself to me. Not while I'm wearing this uniform at any rate. What do you wish to know? Um, I don't want to flirt. Thank you. I'm, I'm working. I'm on the job. Uh, I'm on, I'm, I'm working. Do you live alone? I live alone for the moment. I recognize an evasion. Harjit is not the kind of person who would tell me bluntly to mind my own business. But he won't say more than he thinks I have reason to know. Still, that is enough information for the purposes of the census. Uh, stop. <laughs> what should I put down about your romantic attachments? For the census, that is. This is not a matter I would explain to most people. You and I have known one another for some time, however. I think you would hear me out kindly, but if you would rather not carry my secrets... Alfina plays a dating sim and won't flirt with anyone? <laughs> I haven't found anyone that fits, that suits my tastes yet, okay? I know what I like. Um. <laughs> I believe I know what is expected in these situations. Even before the fall, I would not have married. Yeah, exactly, I'm on the job. I'm freaking working, man. My companion was not a lady. He was an officer who came to the Punjab. We became acquainted, and then more than acquainted. I thought he and I would remain together throughout our lives. I followed him here, away from my own country, and everything I knew to the home of my former enemies. He promised me that it was worth the sacrifice. He said we would never be separated. You will observe he isn't here. Ah! I s I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. These are terrible times. Thank you. You're growing on me. 
I've been looking for him. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I've been looking for him since the night of the fall. I walked on streets that were tearing themselves stone from stone looking for him. Uh, he, he can still be found. I was watching the latest One Piece episodes. Ooh, nice. I don't want to give him false hope, but, like, you never know, right? He could still be around here. Perhaps I'll still find him. It becomes more unlikely. There's a short silence. No! Oh my god, this is not the time to flirt! Um, how's the neighborhood doing? All well on the streets? Every day, I can walk a little further without getting lost, but sometimes I lose a place again. Do you recall the second-hand clothes man who used to be around the corner? Uh... Yeah? Possibly? Hello, Zaro! Welcome, welcome! Once I found them selling a piece that my mother had made, I recognized her design work at once. Must have passed from owner to servant, from servant to the second-hand shop. A worthy tour. At first, I thought the shop was destroyed. Hello, Michael! Oh, not much! We're, we, are, we are meeting new people. But it's moved two streets away now, the whole building. Come accept that the shop in our neighborhood moved locations. <laughs> uh, how's that possible? How could that be? The stars don't stay put in the sky. Perhaps the streets are also free to roam. More, more gish, more ye. Hello, welcome in. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I should be on my way. Give my regards to Mrs. Chapman, friend. Uh, I have only platonic intentions towards Hayashit. He, he's going through some shit right now. He is still very much in love with his, uh, boyfriend. Um. I would like to help him find his boyfriend. I grin? Yeah, that's, that's weird. I could just manage one more errand today before supper. Uh, okay, where can we go here? Uh, oh, there's a, there's a quest right here. Questo. I don't know. I, I, he, he seemed like some sort of, like, officer of some kind, Michael. Maybe he's looking for a rebound? Yeah, I'm not the rebound he's looking for. Uh, looking for census-filled shoppers. Looking to the shopkeeper's goods for sale. I'm going to do census stuff. I'm I'm on the job. I'm a very serious worker. I gotta make sure everyone is okay. I'm fine with this. I am proud to be a tailor. Hello, ma'am. You're looking well. The badge makes clear that I'm here for business, not for conversation. Uh, explain apologetically about the sentence. Uh, sentence. Census. Uh. Proud apron owner, yeah. I'm sorry for the interruption, but I've been sent to ask a few questions of the citizens of London, or those who survived at any rate. I'm not sure what the masters have in mind. Unless it would be a help? I see. Um, stop! I don't want to flirt with every- Can you just, like, romance literally everybody? What should I put on the census as your full name? It's Phoebe Riley. Irish, as you might guess. The Phoebe was my father's idea, or so I'm told. He was a schoolmaster in his better days. Flirtatious apron owner. <laughs> yeah, you can also play matchmaker. Yeah. It's true. Um. How is Kashi going to be here and not Ireland? How did you come to be here, then? The same way as most of us that left in the bad times. What type of person are you looking for? 
I'll know when I see it, I think. <laughs> Took a ship to Liverpool first and did what work I could get here. There. And then, when I saved up and earned, learned a little, came to London to look for better fortune. Uh, what are your household arrangements? It feels so weird to ask that. What sort of household are you in? <laughs> Michael, no! For a few years now, I've been a maid in the household of David Lando and his sister Rachel. Before the fall, there were more of us working there, as you might expect. But with things as they are, I'm having to do more of the work. It's not a house meant for one servant, I can tell you that. Doing a census to see who was available. <laughs> so, uh, your master lives with his sister, huh? Does he have a, another lady? Pungently condemn her employer? Like putting the sus in census, yeah. Um... Pungently. <laughs> Solidarity, yeah? I'm the work- I'm a working class citizen! I understand. You have me on your side. You are very kind. Hello, Pondwater! How you doing? <laughs> Simply ask about feeling- Nope, 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 nope. Um... Yeah, you know, yeah. No, I can ask about her romantic connections. Are you married? Oh, wait, I I'm not the Irish one. Are you married or otherwise connected? There's someone I care for. I had a hope of something would come of it after the fall. But it seems that's not to be by the look of things now. <gasps> I'm going to help you on your quest for love, Phoebe. I'm sorry, I can only imagine how it must feel. Thank you, you're too kind. I'm just gonna search up what pungently means. The only time I ever hear the descriptor pungent is with a smell. So I don't know what the context is in this situation. <laughs> I don't want to flirt with her. I, I want to help her find love. Farewell. I should take myself off. Take yourself off of what? Uh, I want to be friends! I think pungent means strong. Oh, that means... Okay, that makes sense, yeah. I grin. Is that how we become friends? I just grin with them? Okay. By now, Horatia will be wondering where I am. Uh, I'm gonna change clothes before dinner. Okay, so like a... Okay, strong. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna put this on. Boasting and gallivanting? No, I'm not. I'm, gonna, I'm going to freaking... I'm just going to take this off. I'm just going to put on my normal clothes. Yeah, let's put the Admiral's hat for dinner. That's a good idea. <laughs> going zero for four. Watch me lock myself in with, like, the worst romance option. What? That's what's going to happen. Would you rather have a limited big... You keep asking this, Michael, and I don't know what it means. I will keep not answering it. <laughs> Hello, JVC. Whatever census forms you have ready, it is time to take them Mr. to Mr. Pages. I'm ready. Oh, can we have supper instead? I'm fucking hungry. Now I'm famished. Mr. Pages has been expecting these all day. He's eager to see what you've made of the collection. Once I've shown you how to reach the ministry, you can come back on your own and turn in others. Ah, oh, fine. With luck, Mr. Pages will decide to keep you on. With even more luck, he won't mind being asked about the Ministry of Chirography and Cartography. I fear this may be my fault. I explained the idea of ministries to Mr. Pages and his colleagues. She's left with a murderer? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. 
but they may not have quite they may not have quite understood what it's that it's best to limit the number of ministries. With that, she leads me outside and down a side street that is no longer named. Grin at her. <laughs> I think we're already friends with Grizz. The way to the bazaar is much longer than a straight line. First left, then right, then back again and again. Like trimming an evening gown, it's going to be a bother. It's going to a bother for the bother's own sake. I do not ask Grizz whether the masters require, require us to approach this way or whether it is their own virtuosic embellishment. Finally, we find ourselves standing in its shadow under its walls. Before us is a low door that once, I think, belonged to a solicitor's office. Grizz takes out a key made of something other than metal and unlocks that door. Yeah, that's a symbol. I don't know what it means, but it certainly is a symbol. Mind the pile of papers. I've already sorted them three times. Mr. Pages is very particular about ordering the ordering of documents. Now, where has he gone? Usually he's here by this time of day. Ah, there you are, sir. We were just coming to bring you the census documents. A first installment of many, I'm sure. That symbol is warm. Oh, it's the symbol that's on my badge, probably. Okay. There's a tone in her voice, somewhere between fondness and a nanny guiding an untutored child. Ah, <laughs> Fruko! <laughs> you should romance Mr. Pages. I was planning on it. Ignore the moon between them. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Pages, may I present Alfina? Alfina, this is Mr. Pages. The whole Ministry of Accounting and Recounting is under Mr. Pages' direction. Uh. Uh, th thank you for the job. Yeah, that's Mr. Pages! Thank you very much for offering me employment. The opportunities in London aren't what they used to be. Grizz assures us that they, they are improvificated. Okay, I'm gonna need you to talk not like that. It is highly gratifactory, gratificatory that the populace of London appreciates their move. This guy's a freaking nerd! Oh my god, this guy is a freaking nerd! <laughs> oh, I love this! <laughs> uh, uh, Don't romance Mr. Pages? No, I'm- 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 I'm doubling down, I'm doubling down, we're doing this. Yeah, this is who I'm dating, Sightless. <laughs> You're so fucking predictable. Why do you sound so mean when you say that? You sound so mean when you say that. You're so mean to me. <laughs> say something positive. I've never... <laughs> Everyone is so mean to me. <laughs> oh, Silas has not. He think he. Silas doesn't have to compete. He already has me. <laughs> I've never. Uh, I've never known a government ministry to operate with such speed before. <laughs> wow. Okay, it took you that long to type that. There's a moment's fellow meeting, but fellow meeting. There's a moment's fellow feeling. But <laughs> Chris and I are thinking alike. What have you brought us? Uh, I'm gonna give the one about Phoebe. Here goes who I got about Phoebe. I got the, I feel like I got the most stuff about Phoebe. I think. 
Ah, most satisfactory. There are secrets here. It gives he gives me it gives me two shiny pennies for my trouble. It. I turn one over and it has a portrait on the back of someone who is certainly not the queen. <laughs> the face on the back of the coin stares at me until the hair prickles on my neck. The coin reminds me of a debt owed. And I don't want to remember. My breath hitches and slows and resumes. I'm holding two pennies now. Cool! Provide pages with sen seven cents. Oh my god, okay. She seems a very small person. More like a dog. Who the fuck are you talking about? What? Who's a dog? Me or Phoebe? Hello? What a horrid thing to say. Would you not agree? No. You do not think she is smaller than yourself? I... Uh, that's not... I will not replicate the statement in the future. Wow! I can be your dog! <laughs> Thank you, I suppose. Oh, thank you, I suppose. What else is there? Uh, here's the thing I got about uh, Archie. Archie likes his sister a bit too much. That's all I'm gonna say. Pages takes my penny payment from a jar, bringing my stash to three. There are other coins in there and a few things that aren't even coins. What the hell, Triton? <laughs> I don't even know if you guys heard that, but that is the that was the weirdest. Just oh my god, what did the cat do? He ha he did the weirdest screaming noise. And you want to know why he's screaming? <laughs> he's sitting beside his bowl, his food bowl, and he's screaming because he. Drop kibble outside his bowl and refuses to eat it if it's not in his bowl. So if it's on the floor, he won't eat it until we pick it up and put it back in his bowl. <laughs> He's such a little, little baby. It's unbelievable. I can't. <laughs> oh, I love Triton. He's he's a very good boy. <laughs> I know, right, Sightless? Buttons, pearls, probably false. A horse head carved from ivory or bone. He is a princess. He really is. Yeah, get yourself some food, werewolf. We are grateful for your assistance. There are never too many papers. We do not expect much from Archie. Undercan Grease have already... Re revelated that he is a lightless character. What does that mean? Do you have anything more? Yes. Don't do anything to Harjeet. I need to help him find his boyfriend. Mr. Pages takes the census page eagerly and spends some time scanning it. Whatever it finds, it considers uh, impressive enough to offer us two pennies. But it is, I think, disappointed all the same. There's something it is looking for that it cannot find. Can we say that the story is finished? While the lover has not returned, another chaptering is imaginable. The business of the census is done for now. Perhaps I've earned a question. <laughs> Why not both, Zaro? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, why do maps need to be out outlawed, Mr. Pages? Why aren't we allowed to have maps and atlases anymore? We need them more than ever. London isn't arranged where it used to be. Ah. Uh, oh. <clears throat> uh, I believe the Ministry intends to resurvey the territory. In the meantime, it wouldn't do, you know, to have people using fala fa fallacious maps. The territory of the Neath is anti-disposificated towards lying still. Magic 8 Ball! Thank you so much for the two months! Thank you! Um, w uh, uh, what is, okay, yep, sure, I think I, I get what you mean. That's enough of my official duties for the moment. 
I can't flirt with him. You have given me every freaking reason under the sun to flirt with every other NPC that I've seen here, but I can't flirt with Mr. Pages. I am appalled. Grizz accompanies me out again when it is time to go. No flirt. Yeah. <laughs> Stay persistent. Yeah. They knew you'd want it. Well, they shouldn't have made him like that. <laughs> the one person you wanted, you can't. <laughs> the misters are hard to deal with. That's fine. I'll figure it out. She makes a couple of remarks about how useful this will be, though she stops short of asking whether I'm in debt to Horatia. I haven't forgotten, though. Ah, uh, I have a rent. We're fucking... I got... F the entire city was dropped under the fucking ground and I still have a fucking landlord? I feel like I, you know... What the hell? <laughs> He's above your station. Learn your place. <laughs> My place will be at his side. <laughs> Apocalypse can't stop capitalism. Capitalism, you know that. Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, man, freaking god damn it. As we make our way back to Horatia's, Grizz asks me what I think of Mr. Pages. She tries to make it sound like an idly curious question. Um... Uh, thank you, because I... Uh, thank you. I'm grateful for the arrangement. It was very good of you to put this together. The air is warmer for just a moment, briefly comforting. Before we go back into the, into the house, she reminds me. We have many more people in the neighborhood to survey for the census. What are you going to say, Liz? You know how it's done now, so you can collect them and take them to Mr. Page's yourself. Call yourself a bookmark with how you're trying to be with Page... <laughs> That was good. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't want to date you today. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think that I'm going to end. I'm going to end every conversation with everybody exactly like that, Michael. You're going to do a Marxism? Okay. <laughs> I have other duties and I may not always be there, but Pages is, well, I'm certain you won't be harmed if you visit the ministry on your own. Huh? Oh! Decide and confess that I have a flirtatious interest in Mr. Pages. I'll gladly pay a visit by myself. An opportunity, some might say. I won't offer any advice. I wouldn't enjoy giving it, and odds are you'd not take it. But be careful. <laughs> She's like, fucking weirdo! <laughs> and she just leaves? <laughs> Archie finds me upstairs after dinner. Archie, can you fucking knock? Jesus Christ, this is my room. God damn. I cannot, uh, I cannot stop thinking of the Ministry of Cartography. There's something not right here. If you let me show you what I'm thinking of. No, get away from me. What the fuck is he, what? What do you mean? If you must, you'll see what I have in mind in a moment. It's a way of sorting out my thoughts. When I started, it was to think through a treatment. But it's good for all sorts. Stories, schemes, things that might be true or things that don't have to be. Archie does seem a little bit pushy, yeah. Back the fuck up, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> While he's talking, he's getting out some bits of paper written over in his own handwriting. Alright, yeah, sure, you don't need to be that close. To show me paper, but okay. Welcome to story crafting. From time to time, you'll be making stories about things you discover in the Neath. Ooh. Sometimes other people will ask you to bring them a story. They might want a true account, or they might want fiction. Either way, you'll come here to create the story they want. Ooh. This is a slot. Slots contain elements of your story. 
This is a who slot, meaning it can contain a character featured in the story. Click the slot to continue. Archie looks like a divorced man who lost everything. Yeah. These are all the character tokens. Oh, is this like ad libs? <laughs> is that what we're doing? As you need more characters in the game, you'll gain more options. Select one of the tokens to fill the song. Continue. <laughs> are we doing ad libs? <laughs> this is a story about Archie. You can select the slot again to choose someone else if you'd like. Otherwise, let's continue. Characters in the stories you craft here can be driven by motives, and these motives spur them to act. The Neath, also known as the Durground. Yes, correct. Assign a token to both the motive and action. Okay. Uh, he hoped... Uh, I don't know what he want. Had unknown purpose. Secret unknown motives. Nah, he hoped for uh, wealth, I guess. No, not driven by thirst for gold. Oh, fucking fine. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Fucking public affair, I guess. No, not it's scandalous. No, I didn't want that. Okay, I guess it's locked in. Well... Who in their right mind uh, fall in love with the hooded figure? <laughs> People would taste. People would taste. We have to be dramatic about it. You're right. We're telling a story. Archie, a medical student driven by secret unknown motives, carried on a scandalous public affair with a lover. Not every story is single-hander, of course. Commonly, a second character will feature as a friend, an enemy, or victim. Um, The second person in your story needs to be different from the first. Okay. Notice that the token for the character you chose is marked with a cross. Yeah, I figure. You can try that. Okay, let's put Grizz. <laughs> okay. More often you can mix and match based on what you've learned about the world. You'll discover la la la. Sometimes you'll be asked for a story where certain elements can't be changed. In that case, it's lots of... Grizz is afraid of Archie? What? Carried on a scandalous public affair with his lover, Grizz? Grizz is afraid of our- What am I doing here? Oh my god, what? Is this gonna become canon? Finally, sometimes you can put an unknown into a slot. That means you think there's possible. There's another possible answer, but you need to explore the world more to find out what it is. Building a story with some unknown elements gives you a hypothesis you can ask other characters about. I don't like this. I don't- I don't- I don't- I don't want these two to have been a public affair. Obeyed? This is a fake story. You have a definite option about what happened. When you get a message about a story completed, that lets you know what kind of story you built. Whenever you're done working on a story, finished or not, you can leave the story crafting board and go and tell other characters about your idea. Oh my god! I have a friend below that can take what we learn and put it put it about in the papers. You want me to write a fucking scandalous piece about you? What is wrong with you, Archie? I told them I knew someone that might be able to bring back a few secrets of the ministry. Uh What? You want me to pay you want to pay me to bring back information about my other employer? I can share some funds, I, in the spirit of shared enterprise. Here, you have a try. Make me a tale of Mr. Pages for the papers, eh? Um... Yeah, Grizz is having a rough life. Love stories are very uh, important in this world for reasons. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. Oh, it's me? Oh, it's about me? Wait, no, that's just... that. It's just a rando. Okay, um... New Neath changed. Forbade mapping. Mr. Pages made laws forbidding mapping because it knew that the floor of the Neath would shift anyhow. The maps would become obsolete and the citizens grew frightened. It was better to allow people to think their own memories were at fault. And something happened, presumably, but what? Time to write some spicy fan fiction, yeah. 
Who am I to deny some money? I don't want Archie's dirty money. Uh, protected London. The typical Londoner was determined to preserve London. Obeyed. Pages desperate. Obeyed faithfully. What a tale! What a story! Aye, well done. I don't care to have things hidden from me for my own good. It's a tale we could spread to others, wake London suspicions. Put them on their guard. I could take it to the press. No, I was doing this for fun! You might wonder what is the purpose of having a scrap of paper just to say what you don't know. But I use that to mark a question I want to ask. Here. What would you do if you wanted to rec interrogate someone about why Mr. Pages was up in his ways? Please invent me a conspiracy theory. <laughs> I'll maybe do some L self some self insert OC fic. I'm just man. I'm just using like the options. No. What would you do if you wanted to interrogate someone about why Mr. Pages was up to his ways? Bro, I'm not working for you. What do you want from me? Is that what you want? Chad GPT, me some conspiracy theory. Freaking no. Is this what you want? What do you want? There's an answer, but it's a question we need now. Something unknown you meant to ask. Then you go when you go out in the town looking for answers. Uh Mr. Pages had purposes both unknown and unknowable. It established a ministry rule forbidding mapping and uh uh, was gullible. I guess this is... Bleh. Why didn't you write the piece yourself? You clearly knew what you wanted me to write. What? <laughs> Make a question like that and you'd be asking folk why Mr. Pages outlawed maps. Same as I asked Riz yesterday. You've got the way of it. Questions to ask anyone who reply. Answers to bring to me. If you don't mind giving Mr. Pages all manner of stories about the people that live below, then you can go on with it. But if you'd rather another way to make your bread, you may investigate while you are there. Ask him questions. Ask other people questions about him. Find out a thing or two. If you make up the questions you want to ask, you can investigate with anyone who might answer. Earn your pennies helping the citizens rather than those creatures in their blankets. I'm sorry. I'm not going to conspiracy theorize with you, Archie. Um. This is dangerous. You can do this yourself. Sounds like the kind of thing that goes extravagantly wrong. Leaving its perpetrators uh, in prison for, or minus their writing fingers. His conspiracy club, yeah. Watch these little drawings. You may take leave if it is if you've no taste for it. You came to my room. You can leave, Archie. But it's nay but a bit of thinking so far. The first one won't get you in any trouble. Might not, might be not the second neither. I should let you get your sleep. Yes. You should also fucking knock before you enter. Think of the money. No, I don't want- I said, I don't want his dirty money. Kissable questions won't hurt anything. I can decide later whether I want to go further with this scheme. I'll see you at supper then. Any waiters on what Horatio's cooking tonight? Better not ask. I'll see you later then. Yep, bye. <laughs> it's my room, Archie. I don't, I'm gonna, I don't need to review my journal. Boundaries, right? Yeah. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna look at my day in the journal. Um. Oh, damn. I got a lot of freaking uh, quests.
Where's Pages? Why is he not? Oh, there he is, Mr. Pages. It is very tall. <laughs> I want to win its heart, but we haven't even flirted much yet. We can change that. Who's Rachel? I'm gonna go tell on Archie. I'm gonna go tell Mr. Pages what he's doing. That's what I'm gonna do. Sought lost beloved. New neath changed. Phoebe, the bizarre hoarded hoard hoarded written word. I got five pennies. I wonder what that can get me. Twelve days remain in the season of confessions. Another morning, another newspaper. This morning's lies open on the table. Hello, Utah! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the void. My life has changed now that I know about Mr. Pages. <laughs> this morning's lies upon the table. Parliament buildings visible in river. All parliamentarians feared drowned. I don't think I have any new clothes. I don't I also don't want to craft narratives. I'm going to I'm going to head out. There's a romance option here. Oh, another romance option at the bazaar. Let's go to the bazaar. Continue my romance with Mr. Pages. What is he doing at the bazaar? Oh wait, no, that's where he lives. Okay. I should change. I need to put on my ministry badge. Uh, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put on my tailor's apron. So that he knows. That I'm a tailor. I might look a little intimidating like this. No, he wants me to freaking go over there with my badge on. Grace has already shown me once how to visit the ministry. It's not hard for me to return on my own. Mr. Pages is at his... It's... Desk when I come in. You do not appear to have brought any ampleated forms with you. Perhaps the nature of the job was not made clear. I... I'll do better. I'm sorry, I'll do better. When I require an apology, I will extract one with tongs. I take a step closer. We both know not here to conduct any more. <laughs> why? Why is my character so freaking like bold? Holy shit! Ugh! This is embarrassing. I, I I'm embarrassed to play this on stream. <laughs> How delicious you are, friend. Grizz has taken, has given rudiments of your extraction only. At your convenience, we desiderate a fuller genealogy. It looks at me as though expecting that I will immediately sit at a desk and pen a memoir. What the fuck does this mean? What does this mean? Most of the fine people I help dress. Um... The inventive side of tailoring. I don't give a shit about the rich people that I dressed. <laughs> I speak of my family's background and the fine people we had the honor to dress. I talk about the invention of new styles and the challenge of finding the right ambassadors to wear them. Is it fictive? Is it trustworthy? We cannot be impressed where we are not convinced. Mr. Pages may have hoped to hear something else. I feel I've seen a side of you that other Londoners never see. <laughs> what the fuck? I just talked about my clothes. <laughs> your interest in the landscape of the city, your concern for the census. Your lexical tastes. 
Mr. Page is plainly not in the mood for flirtation. <laughs> There's still an atmosphere of slight distrust. You should attend the ministry frequently. Your presence is satisfactorious. <laughs> If you have secrets to confide, I will also listen to them. Especially if they pertain to heart matters, but even if they do not. <laughs> ah! Ah! Come on, Alfie, unleash that inner simp energy and score with pages. A book of love to be scripted by your simping. Go forth and simp. that the chance to spend time together is always welcome i have written this appointment in the book do not defy it from obedience to this plan grizz has suggestified that the agents of the ministry should appear respectable <laughs> moreover that black is a respectable color of clothing i have obtained an article it was not made with Mr. Vale's wares. I hope this will not give offense. Mr. Vale's should not be given the measure of you. Oh, he gave me a coat! He gave me a coat! Suitable for funeral processions and the attendance of graves. Wearing it makes me more conscious of grim truths, but also better able to lend comfort. Wow, he gave me clothes! Oh god, uh, uh. My opinion is unchanged. I'm still. Yeah, the, all of this stuff is way too soon. It's way too soon. I'm gonna wait. The ruminations are gone. All is, it, all is as it was. Okay. What is there to consider? He doesn't trust me. We don't know each other, Liz. <laughs> I'm going to put on the new outfit. Oops. I'm going to take this off because I'm at home now. Give you funeral clothes and you feel nothing? No, I. Yeah, look. <laughs> We're gonna work on this, okay? All right. Um. Let's go. What is the? Uh. You gotta bait the hook first. <laughs> We're not a mannequin, it's just the clothes that we're wearing. Okay, I don't want to go there yet. Um, let's go to the market. Yeah, I put on the new coat. Uh, look for a sense of stealing shopkeepers. I need to, I need to keep doing my job. To make him happy. Um, I'm gonna put on my little, my little label. We're gonna put this on. That'll do. Oh, who's this lady? Hello? Since the fall, we have all taken to greeting one another as, in as invalids on the verge of death. Call me Ivy. Uh... Explain that I'm working for the Ministry on Census. The Ministry of Accounting and Recounting have asked me to work on the census. <laughs> Hello, nurse. <laughs> I see. Um, I'm just going to ask her her name. What's her full name? Ivy Fitzclaret. It's what passed for a joke with my mum. Uh, make no comment on her mother's sense of humor. My mum reckoned when I got old enough, I could pick a lie that'd suit me. So long as you live with me, you'll be known for a tart's daughter. No point hiding it. Uh, 
take an interest in her mom? No, thanks. Are you going to change your name someday? Oh, yes, but not until I have enough money, enough saved to move my shop to Lady Bones. <laughs> Mademoiselle Lier de Bordeaux, I'm planning to call myself. All the fashions of Paris, but darker and more marvelous. Lady Bones. Uh, I'm not going to take an interest in her mom. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Is Ivy's a seven? I see. Like a steel trap, eh? I get the measure of you. Um... What is your household situation? Flirt with her as a backup? No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you live alone? I live back at my mom's place when I'm not working and she's good company unless she's got guests of her own in which I s in which case I stay out late. Uh um 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 um, um. Are you married or otherwise connected? There's been a few warm encounters. I'm not the blessed virgin, am I? But I don't want a child nor man sponging off me. One thing about being raised by an old sloop o' war. What? Huh? Okay. She taught me how to keep unencumbered. Holy heck. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. No one speaks for a moment. Goods for sale? I'm not gonna ask her for her goods, no thanks. Uh, ask Ivy about her work. Yeah, what kind of work do you do? Is this your chief employment? Here's the thing about working in the houses of fine ladies. They leave their letters lying about and tell themselves you can't read. They gossip about their affairs and fancy that you're deaf. Thank you for the hydrate, Ginger. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Well, I have a rule, and it shows a generous and charitable spirit at that. First time you forget I've got eyes and a brain, no harm. I shut my minces, and I keep my hound slows clamped. But do it again. Your secrets are mine, and my secrets are my living. Uh... I understand. Good thinking. The owner of a secret doesn't know when it's been stolen. As as you can... Good thinking. Oh, as you can see. Better to make... <laughs> that, sorry, that's me. Better to make... Better to be able to make an opportunity when it's offered than to make a plan. Every location in Fallen London has an analog to real London locations. Oh, neato! Plans break. Ah, well, top of Rome for me. Um, only platonic intentions. My face betrays my feelings. What the fuck does that mean? It's getting late, so I'm heading back home. They banned the old street name, so they changed. Uh, I'm gonna change my clothes before e eating. Ivy thought poorly of gentlemen. Ah, oh, I'm taking this off. I'm just gonna freaking go to supper. Did you see that woman? The one that came yesterday asking for doctoring? Aye. What should it what should it be with nightmares again? Um I'm just gonna listen quietly. I got nothing to say to Archie. I keep quiet. This isn't my affair. Could you do anything, love? I have only a, dra a dram of laudanum left, and nay more for a few days. There's fuel enough for the moment if you need to start a new tincture. There's somewhat else I've been brewing up, so to say, but in case it did not work, I... Why does this image scream, we saw you from across the bar and we really dig your vibe? 
they're all kind of giving me eyes, aren't they? But also, that is not the first thought that came to mind when I saw this scene. <laughs> when I saw this table scene, I was instantly reminded of cooking companions when everyone's at the table <laughs> and eating the meat. That's what I thought of. <laughs> oh no. He takes something out of his his pocket, a lump wrapped in paper leaves, just long enough for Horatia to see. Opium. <laughs> no, I didn't finish it yet, Aranis. <laughs> He's got opium. Goodness. Well, wherever you got it, don't let anyone see it before you had a chance to use it. <laughs> There's a woman who comes to the door just about every morning. Too many children, not enough food. Sometimes I have a penny or some old stew for her. Um. Listen. And this morning? I sat by the fire and didn't go to answer it. After a time, she stopped knocking and just stood sobbing on the doorstep. Oh no! Help the poor lady! Here, it's not a great deal, but for tomorrow. I retrieved the pennies from my pocket and passed them over. Thank you. I'll say you sent them for her. Um, I don't need the credit. It's, it's fine. I, we're broke too, yes, but at least we have a job. That's not necessary at all. It can come from you. She'll be glad to know that there are others that care, Alfina. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on eating. We have a sketchy job. It, well, I mean, yeah. But we're making money. <laughs> First few days weren't bad. People had food in their pantry still. Old loaves of bread, leftover joints, roots, and jams. But nothing new was coming into the markets. No new fish, no vegetables from the farms. We finished eating. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go straight to sleep. I'm gonna go... You know what? I'm going to go do my census first, and then I'm going to go talk to the dude. No, it doesn't. Especially, I guess especially no, now that we're underground. Like, there's no sunlight as far as we can tell. Archie bought one, and the headlines read, Ministry of Accounting and Recounting offers extra rations in exchange for old pound notes. Yeah, but Mr. Page is also, like, wants me to come to him with information. If I got nothing to show, then, like, he's, he's, you know, not going to be very happy with me, you know? Um. Okay, let's, uh, let's go over here. Take the census with Horatia. Uh, satisfied with this. Yeah, have a great night, Jake. Sleep well. <laughs> I find Horatia in the basement taking inventory of our supplies. Night London fell, all Horatia lodgers gathered in the cellar. Horatia led the hymns while we waited for dawn. Around three in the afternoon, we admitted to ourselves that there wasn't going to be a dawn today or any other day. Ah, I trust the cold isn't getting to you too much. Um, I wanted to ask you a few things. Horatia looks unsatisfied by that explanation. They're not very difficult questions. I probably should have just been honest with her. She, she, she obviously knows that I work for the ministry now. I see. Um, did you have any suitors when you were younger? 
The butcher at the coroner asked me a few times to be his wife. I couldn't say I was tempted. He had seven children from his marriage before. I believe he was more attracted to the extra rooms in my house than to me. No one speaks from- Oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, have a great night, Lazy Ice Raven. Sleep well. Uh, yeah, do you do anything else? You don't have any secret business aside running the household, do you? The house has been my business for a long time now. My father left it to me. He bought it so I'd have a good place to live. He didn't want to leave it up to whether I'd find a husband. I'd best go tidy the parlor. Um, okay. I'm now fine with being friends with her. I guess I'm gonna grin. Yeah, there you go. I grin. <laughs> At least time for another errand today. I didn't get too much out of that. Okay, we're gonna go talk to, um... Ooh, I, there's an exclamation point here now. I've got some census forms. Wait, Grizz is there? I don't want Grizz to be there. God damn it. Thank you for the stretch, Elvin. Thank you, everybody. Stretch. Ah. Yeah, this is fine. I'm wearing the clothes that he gave me. Mr. Pages watches our arrival intently, gleaning something from the fact that we've come together. We require more stories for the bazaar. Our current catalog is too small. Too small? Far too small. We have all the romantic accounts from the census. Too short, too self-similar. A person was married, then widowed. A person fell in love, was rejected, and married another. Where's the screaming in such an account? Um... Yeah, there he is. You can probably give him forms as part of the seduction. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he wants the freaking details. <laughs> the screaming may be inferred. There's plenty of sorrow in all these tales, if that is what you find toothsome. The respondents do not evidence these feelings. Besides, if you want more colorful stories, there are novels. London's novels have been disappointing. <laughs> uh... What would you do then, Grizz? If we cannot prepare everything that is needed, we should prepare for the failure instead. If you think everyone's personal life isn't your business, it very much is. <laughs> He's a love gossip. Yeah, I love that. This sounds displeasing. What will happen if there are not enough stories, or are they not satisfactory? They will not immediately escape from here. London will not be risk. Restore returned. Um. It's time to fanfic our neighbors, yeah? Uh, and we'll run out of the slow consumables, won't we? Cloth, leather, wood. London will start to go about naked. Importations can be arranged. Neath creatures can be skinned. Hello? What about food? Will we run out of food? Are there not enough stores? No, stores can be supplied. So, in other words, if you don't find enough stories, you will then spend longer in their collection. Yes. And that's all. That is not all. I have prom pro promissificated and guaranteed that the paper supplies of London will provision applicate. More slowly. I will be mocked. I will be humiliated. I will be shamed among the other masters. I assured them, when we chose London rather than another city, we said it was for her books. Oh! It was for a collection of her wealth, her hoard of printed things. Mr. Fires alleged that this was a personal greed, but I assured them that I acted in the good of all. So... He did this! He did this because he wants to read love stories. He did. <laughs> the other master.
pastors did it for other things. He did it explicitly in London because he heard that there were good stories in London. Oh my god. I see. Yes. <laughs> so the serious matter before us is that you helped us see the sinking of London. Tricky, hello! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the follow! <laughs> Yourself. It was your choice. And now you want us to help you prove that it was not a vain decision. Yes! <laughs> I need some air. Yeah, of course I'm still simping for pages. Uh... Pretend nothing happened. I clear my throat and smile at Mr. Pages. Do you have anything more? Yep. Uh, here you go. Then it puts the census page back in a stack of others much like it. It weighs the package down with a paperweight. If I look too hard at the paperweight, my eyes sting. This one is of interest. Fam famili familificient lacking uxority. I'm gonna try- I don't know if I can flirt with him right now, but we'll see. Do you have anything more? Yes, here you go. This form merits two pennies. An exemplar and example. Her mother is resi- is resilient of heart. She herself also. Uh... I, I, yeah, I liked her. I liked her. Your application of companionate time outside of ministry is your own. We do not forbid revisiting the subjects of the census. There we go! Yeah! Let's go! It is always a pleasure to speak with you. None of the other masters keep such a pet. It is time for you to depart. It is at times difficult to tell whether Mr. Page is intentionally ill-mannered or merely has no interest in discovering what the proper etiquette might be. He maybe just doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. It's fine. We'll, may we'll help him understand. We will help him understand. We will help it understand. Excuse me. The hallways outside are hushed, except w that if I listen closely, there is a sound like something walking with an uneven gait. It's shoes, or perhaps it's toenails click on a posh, polished floor. <laughs> I'm doing my best! It's nearly time for supper. Ah, straight to the table, fuck it. Where's Grizz? Archie's already at the table when I arrive. When he sees me come in, he gives a guilty start and scoops some of his stew back into the terrine. I can fix some, yeah! <laughs> Took more, uh, took more than I'd write a right to, but I'd not eaten yet. Apologies. Uh, I don't, I don't worry about. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry. I was lost in my thoughts. Forgot. Hello, cyanide. I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you're also doing well. Hello, Karasu. Hello. There was a lass who asked me to come around and look at her brother. A Jewish family. They usually go to their own doctor, but he's out of service, or ran away, or something of that ilk. Their old synagogue was destroyed in the fall, so they moved to the Tenterground Synagogue. Oh, a new, a new location! He didn't expect you to come back, you were supposed to be murdered, yeah? Oh, you're in pain? No, no! I hope it go- I hope you- I hope you get better. I'm getting way too invested in the drama. Where's the murder? There was supposed to be a murder mystery. Where'd the murder happen? Rachel and David Lando. David Lando. Uh, David has a stomach complaint. Chronic. Perhaps they, uh, perhaps they have trouble cooking anything palatable. It isn't easy these days with what we have. <laughs> I was promised a dead body. <laughs> the sisters are beauty. She wouldn't leave. He has a thing for sisters, doesn't he? She wouldn't leave the room while I saw to her brother. Uh, okay. 
Well, what was she doing? <laughs> okay, so you have to make the murder herself yourself, yeah. <laughs> Is that usual? What she was what was she doing? Kept watching me while I worked, making notes in her wee book. Felt as I was uh, felt as I was being marked on my bedside manner. And the brother, will he live? Oh, I. For a bit, I thought it might be serious. <laughs> Next, he's going to ask if you have siblings. Yeah, hello, James. Hello. What he needs is his stomach settled. Yep. Give him some ginger. Give him some peppermint tea. I chew diligently. When they got hungry, people turned into inventive. When they got hungry. All the pigeons around St. Paul's, they caught and plucked. More than one society lapdog was turned into stew. <gasps> Not the dogs! There are no more mushrooms on my plate. Not the puppies! Uh. We're not doing cannibalism just yet, but apparently we're eating... Yeah, no, they mean they mean puppies. They're eating the rich people's dogs. And when they say lap dogs, like, it's not big dogs. So there's already barely any meat on them. Why would you do that? Another morning, another newspaper. Archie bought one and the headlines read. Population of rats and spiders in London said to have tripled overnight. You can eat some rats and spiders. There's lots of those. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go head outside. Uh, a romance option at the boarding house. Whom's? Build friendship with... Oh, okay, no. The heart can also mean friendship. Okay. The answer to our prayers. Tasty spiders. Correct. Oh, I can meet the Landos. Land Landows. Land Landos. Yep, that's fine. This is okay. Lapdogs can suggest creatures that are not dogs. It can suggest servants or similar. Huh, okay. So it could have been cannibalism? That's kind of scary. We've never met before, but I recognize these people anyway from Archie's description. They have to be the Landos, the brother and sister pair. He's been treating David's stomach pains. Wait here, Rachel, or you can stand a bit to the side if you want, wherever you're comfortable. I'll speak to this person. It won't take long. Shouldn't, anyway. <laughs> Lapdog could also be an insult for obedient complacent. Ah, uh, okay. Good morning. Um. Friend of Archie. I am Elfina. I have the advantage I'm a of afraid, I know you through a friend of mine, the young doc doctor, Archibald Reed. He and I reside at the same lodging house. David does not have an answer. Did Dr. Reed send you to us with some sort of message? I suppose I shouldn't call him doctor, he, as he didn't qualify. What? Didn't qualify? He knows we're here, but I don't know what the message would be. We paid his fees. No, no, I'm here on my own business. But he told me you might be here. What can we do for you? Um, ministry business. <laughs> Rachel is hot. The Ministry of Accounting and Recounting have asked me to work on the census. I see. I'll answer your qu oh, I'll answer your questions, Alfina. If you answer mine, call it character research. Are you having peculiar dreams down here? Um, mention that Archie has patience with just this complaint. Archie is being called to see people with strange dreams constantly. 
Does he report them back to you, or better yet, does he keep a ledger? He only gives me the outlines. He doesn't give away the secrets of his patients. Commendable. Inconvenient. Okay, Jesus. Go ahead with your questions, Alfina. <laughs> Steal the diary, yeah. Dave is 6.5, Rachel's an 8. <laughs> um, I'd like to know more about you, Rachel. Are you in love? Are you married? In love? No. At least, that isn't what I'd call it. Just as well, too. In the times before, you would never have darkened the door of such a person. Before you cast me as the intolerant brother. Alfina, you should know what we're speaking of. Oh, before you cast me as the intolerant brother, Alfina, you should know what we're speaking of. Milton is a yellow-eyed, flash-dressed, hot-handed creature at least two decades too old for my sister. Hey, man, if she likes older men, what's it to you? Rumors of devils are frequent in the city. Perhaps Milton is one of them. Wait, devils? I'd like more information about this person. Oh dear, the rules of polite society have broken somewhat in the fall, haven't they? Nothing of the sort. He's a devil. Or rather, he belongs to the group using that name. Milton is an artistic inspiration. If you are not a writer yourself, Alfina, you cannot guess how much the fall has disrupted our sort of work. Characters of certain tastes, certain preferences, certain prejudices. All I need to do is imagine them in new circumstances and their reactions write themselves. But now, we've all been at least a little bit cracked by the fall. How does anyone behave? Who can say? You always said you wrote from observation. You can still observe. Since the fall, there's no pattern in what I see. It is only home that makes sense to me, and I cannot make my whole novel about a brother and sister lighting candles at Shabbat. Um... Make it a compliment? This is the point at which her art must truly develop. It sounds as though you must learn to write when it is not easy. The rest of the world must come into it somehow. Milton helps me sort the rest of the world. He can make sense of anything, even of his countess running down the street in her peignoir. It's easy to understand a misbehaving of his countess. Everything else is a stranger. Let me say, Alfina, Milton smokes rose-scented cigars. He helps me. Um... Yeah, gossip more. Give me the juicy details. I gotta give this back to Mr. Pages. <laughs> Goodness, really? Milton quotes... Oh, Milton quotes poetry instead of making conversation. What does that signify? Milton carries his breast pocket... In his breast pocket, a jar of honey with a tiny spoon. Oh, fuck yeah! Plenty of men of fashion behave that way. I'd like to carry around a pocket of honey. I mean, a jar of honey <laughs> in my pocket. Do you... Are you... Yeah, he keeps honey with him. Do you have any romantic commitments right now? He doesn't have any commitments. In fact, I would go so far as to say he's utterly without prospects. He stays home and reads. I haven't been well. He warns me of spinsterhood, but he's headed very much in that direction himself. It isn't the same thing at all. I agree, it isn't. I have my work to support myself. My sister is a famous authoress, serialized in the Lily of London, if you can believe it. But what's become of your fun since the fall? He's like me and my sipping cereal. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to marry if you don't end. If you don't mean to end your days a pauper, brother. I'll rely on you to support me in my failing years, sister. Ah, uh, okay. Are you in love? Are you married? In love? Oh, not recently. I was in love once, or so I imagined. You can, you can fix Rachel? She's already, like, uh, 
a, a devil's like mistress or whatever. She's probably like with the devil right now. Uh, Charlotte Carringham, she and David had an understanding. She converted in any case. Becoming Christian suited her social aspirations. Rachel. Yes, yes, I take leave to dislike your unworthy suitors as heartily as you dislike mine. These two should probably not be living together. I understand that they're siblings, but my god. <laughs> I once caught Milton making what I can only call demonic faces at the mirror when he thought no one else was in the room. I hardly think he and Charlotte are comparable. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. This is too funny. Apologies for stirring up a bit of family trouble. Let's move on, shall we? Um, okay. Life and business. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. With a ready listener, David talks about the life he had before the fall and hopes to have it again. What if this game promoted in- No, 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 no. There's gotta be none of that. There's none of that. There was a steady business which presented him with challenges in which his caution and tendency to doubt were an asset. In his stories, his partners and relatives are sometimes swindled or tricked, but David himself rarely falls prey to that kind of misadventure. G <laughs> uh, his arrangements appear to have been quite successful, quietly successful, and I have the impression that his friends thought highly of his good sense. We're expected elsewhere. Everything is always running too slowly, and yet every day is the same. You have set loose one or two ideas, for which I certainly owe you something. She produces a card and hands it to me. It provides her address and guidance to reach it. Yay! I can go to their house now. Goodbye, then. Um. Only platonic intentions towards Rachel. What does that mean? My face betrays my feelings. No, it doesn't. Give me a chance, I'll do anything. <laughs> Judging by the clock, I can afford another errand today. Yeah! I got some juicy details from Mr. Page. Let's freaking go. What type of 80s drama is this? It's really good. It's 1860s, yeah? Uh, any expectation of a social visit? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna keep that on. Um, why is Grizz accompanying me? Grizz, go away! The atmosphere in the room is glacial, and my rival does not thaw it. Grizz neither looks nor at nor speaks to Mr. Pages any more than she can help. If it were a bookcase or a handsomely made globe, it would have more it would have more of her attention. Do you have anything more? Yup. I think he means I'm being nicer to them than I feel like being. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mr. Pages pleased enough with my information to give me two pennies. It looks through the sheet, uh, sheets of the form in its usual way. It doesn't seem to fi find much to interest in... It doesn't find much to interest it in the account of Rachel's romantic life. It is much more intrigued by her employment. Gamer on wheels, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Riz Grizz is killing all the Riz in here. She is, though, she is. Uh, she invents love stories from nothing. There are many number of novels. There are any number of novels printed every year in London. The price of paper was recently reduced. These stories we will acquire. If they are suitable, then we will also acquire the authoress. Um. Uh, what does that mean? What do you mean, acquire her? I'm right here! <laughs> her current novel is being printed one chapter at a time in the magazine The Lily of London. Does its story pertain to lovers? Are they disappointed and crossed in their aims? The story has not yet come to an end. 
I see. Still a kind, still of a kind to be shaped. <laughs> Acquire as an employee. <laughs> I could make sure uh, she and Grizz are acquainted. Then Grizz could commission her uh, to be sure the novels are suitably written. Yes, do this. Okay. Do you have anything more? Yup. Here's the one for David. The trick is to not look at the back of the penny at all. There are seven forms thus far. This should be commemorated. Chris has indicated the aesthetic propriety of ruinous places. That what is broken inspires happiness and warmth of heart. <laughs> this is really good, isn't it? I'm loving this. There is something I wish to show you. It leads me out of the ministry. The people in the streets part when we approach. No one troubles us. When we come to the edge of the stolen river, it summons a boat with a crook of its... <gasps> He's gonna row a boat for me! Are we going on a date? Does it have effect? Does it enhearten you? Grizz indictified that the moon was also required. But the moon was cast out of the belly of the neath. Ow! <laughs> what the fuck was that sound? It is unwise to say we will depart. You have seen what I wish to show. <laughs> Here, get on this boat. I'm gonna show you a river. There's no moon. All right, let's leave. <laughs> what a game for my first stream year. Hello, Justy. Hello, welcome in. <laughs> this is supposed to be a murder mystery dating sim. There's not been a murder yet, but London did fall into the hole into a hole into the ground and then it's because of this guy and we're trying to date him it seems he cares for, oh it seems he cares for his sister more than for any other nonetheless his affections are prolific there's some promise in that that is enough of my official duties for the moment jesus we're just gonna fucking go for it oh no okay yeah 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 good luck with the car we're just gonna kiss him? We're just gonna go? Okay. I have anticipated this for some time. Pages looms closer. Certain difficulties present themselves. You will stand on the chair. I will elevate you. <laughs> He's too tall! It reaches out to pick me up! I can live with us being differently sized. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mr. Page lifts me up and places me standing on the chair. Then it dips its great head. Its kisses are multi multi part, complicated matters as polysyllabic as its words. It grows hungrier. Am I is this censored? Is this, is this the is there stuff? Is there the stuff in this game? The, the, no, I don't want to get banned from Twitch. Also, do you have any idea how freaking like like embarrassing and awkward it is to like? <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. I have I have Dante just in case. It's fine. <laughs> I got Dante just in case. Um. Okay, fine. I lean into the kiss. Its mouth is warm and its teeth are sharp. It has sharp teeth! But it does not hurt me. It must take considerable care not to hurt me, in fact. Ask about our future together. I have met this 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 creature like three times. The young fall quickly. One forgets. You will recover. Slowly or not, you will disentangle your heart again.
determined oh, hell to yeah. drive it mad with unsatisfied longing for my soul. <laughs> I say nothing. I look deep into the shadows of its hood. Its voice rises. Our intentions are for the benefiting of London. A practicum, an experimentulance. It pauses. The experiment required sincere appetite. Enough of our conversation, be gone. <laughs> I say farewell and go. Mr. Pages acknowledges my departure with the slightest inclination of its hood. I say farewell and do not expect an answer. Uh, I, I am in love with Mr. Pages. <laughs> no, we're going to take it one step. Yeah, he acknowledged us. It acknowledged us. Okay. It acknowledged us. We're, we're, we're in the right path. We're on the right path. Okay. We're on the right path. For to romancing this creature, <laughs> Kyoko. Hi, <laughs> werewolf. We're romancing. We're romancing the creature, Mr. Pages. Yes, it. It. <laughs> you planted the seed in its mind. What the fuck? Where'd you get the freaking octopus? I thought I smelled a stew. The pot's on the table, Alfina. Sit where you like. I wonder if Pages ever takes off its hood. I don't want it to. I don't want it to. I hope it keeps... I hope Mr. Pages keeps its hood on. I like... I like cloaked figures where you don't see, like, their features and stuff. That's, like... That's that's the good shit. Uh, what's in it? <laughs> hood stays on. Yeah. If you judge just by the flavor, it'll be a chewy type of fish. It, it makes a change from mushrooms. Oh, hi, Grizz. That goes for you too, Miss Griselda. There's stew ready if you're hungry. Um. What are you gonna say, Grizz? You went fishing. Tall, mysterious, handsome, and nerdy. Yeah. I thought geriatric was the good shit for you. Like, okay. I, I, th there, there are many things. I'm not getting into this right now. <laughs> it was a gift from someone I treated for gripe. The masters warned me against eating things from the river. I'm not sure it was the river he caught it from. Why? What did he tell you? He didn't tell me anything. Where's my favorite girl, Rachel? I'll go try to find her later, Zarily. I'll try to find her later, okay? We know where she lives now. <laughs> as creepy as that sounds, we can go talk to her. <laughs> uh... I guess that it's guess that it's something other than fish. <laughs> Perhaps it isn't fish. Possibly it's something else, some kind of creature that lives only here. Who knows what sort of flesh it might have in its curious limbs. I'm glad I've already eaten my portion or you'd be putting me off. I believe you're right. He had the meat in a big bag, a very big bag, and stained it dark. RG's a minus 10, Horatio's a 4, and Gizmo is a 6. Wait, who's Gizmo? Who's Gizmo? I didn't need- we didn't meet a Gizmo. Have a good night, crew. LP type so far, a hooded figure who doesn't need to be human, and geriatric one. No! <laughs> no, not a geriatric one. You guys are making me sound weird. <laughs> Uh, I made him swear it wasn't human before I'd take it. To judge by the fishy smell, it wasn't. Silence falls. 
keep quiet and eat. Oh, Grizz! Grizz is Gizmo! Okay, okay. I chew diligently. Uh, dinner reaches an end. Calamari is really good, though. She's trying to raise the curtain. No, I'm trying to raise the creature underneath the curtain. <laughs> yeah, it's not human. Another morning, another newspaper. What would happen if Paige's white hair? I mean, that's fine, too. Headlines today read, London swallowed whole by Leviathan, sermon on the wrath of an angry god. I'm not too occupied otherwise. I can always ask my friends and acquaintances whether there's anything they need from me. Just an observation. <laughs> they may have some additional tasks for me. <laughs> Don't threaten her with a good time. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, you know what? This is fine. I'm going out to, to work. Get some work done. We have some... Uh, oh, there we go. Who wanted to go see Rachel again? Was it Zaro? Zaro wanted to go see Rachel. Uh... <laughs> the badge will eliminate any sus expectation of a social visit. Yep, that's fine. I'm not here for social. I'm here for business. There's Rachel. Miss Lando, may I introduce you to my friend, Miss Griselda? Grizz. She heard about your writing and asked for an introduction. Oh, you read my work, Grizz. I never read novels. I have more pressing demands on my time. Then I don't understand why you've come. God damn it, Grizz! Ah! Grizz does not understand. Grizz is an avid reader in need of supply. We thought they might particularly appreciate your gifts. How kind of you. My employer would like to pay you to inter to produce stories more quickly. Stop. <laughs> My hands only go so fast. We could provide a secretary supplies. I'm not sure what a person in your situation might need. I can see that. Did you own those trousers before the fall? I bought them afterward. Well, they're tailored for secondhand goods. You didn't do that to yourself, I think. She's kind of a bitch! Is she being mean? I can't tell. If you have menial household duties you need to set aside, we could hire... I can afford my own seamstress, thank you. We stray from the point of our meeting, Miss Lando. What consumes your working time? It seems like she's mean, yeah. I, like, I, I'm not getting some very polite vibes from Rachel over here. Attending social events must... Uh, events until something inspires a return to my desk. Some muses inspire, mine exasperates. But those activities produce what? A list of incidents? Alphabetical to be included in the coming chapters? I can still fix Rachel, give me a chance. Characters. Today, Clorinda and her brothers cast off super fine trousers. She, she's tried to discard a society accent, but she wears gold links in her cuffs. I didn't come to be a literary model. If you wanted me to write more, it's the best thing you could have done. London's circulating libraries and magazines told tales by the thousands. Your masters commandeer whatever they wish. I don't understand your difficulty. Um. I, uh, I, uh. 
As they have excellent reasons. I have been brought into their confidence a little. It's best not to speak of it, especially considering that you write what you hear for a public audience. The masters did have hopes of the books already present in London, but they do not satisfy these needs. They need something fresher and more succulent. Rachel's getting less hot. No. Oh, no. <laughs> succulent. Um, we will pay for every chapter on the love of neath dwelling Londoners. My compatriot Alfina will help you. Say it won't help. Okay. Uh, helping Rachel might be preferable to census taking. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll accept. Uh, if you can tell me what you require. I need a plot about how my heroine recovers from her betrothal to someone left behind on the surface. <laughs> Just the skeleton of how it happens. I can do the rest. If you could contrive a way for her to end the business, that would be very welcome. All of my thoughts have proven insipid. Okay, I'll, I'll help her write her next story, I suppose. We only want the tales. And the niece heart's blood. I accept. If only that means, if that only means me taking an extra payment for work I already do. I promise nothing. You've allowed us to provide a certain incentive. After Rachel sees us out, we have a thoughtful walk home. Grizz is silent with her thoughts for a good part of it. If she had any turn for politics, what a politician she would make. Though, of course, they'd never swear her in. But imagine her speeches. Uh... Yes, I'm going to speed along a connection between Grizz and Rachel. She's an extra extraordinary person. Um... If I may ask, do you have feelings for Rachel? <laughs> There's nothing to tell, I believe. If she should say anything about her feelings, please tell me. There's time to run another errand today. We're gonna go see... Mr. Pages! Um, I'm... Mr. Pages and I know one another too well now for any minor eccentricities eccentricities of dress to surprise it. I may still have my own preferences about how I wish to appear, however. I'm gonna change. Hello, Marco! Hello! <laughs> yeah! Mr. Pages! Let's go! Okay, I'm gonna take off my label. I'm gonna put on corsage. He likes to be very, like, I'm gonna put on, yeah, I'm gonna put on my, uh, the outfit that he gave me. Last night, your name was spoken in a cauldron of masters. No predications were affixed, but the phenomenon was an anti-desiderandum. Have you been following in leaving here? Have you been followed in leaving here? Or in coming? N no, no. You are not suffering from a deficiency in any of your senses that would make you more easily caught. Hi, Mr. Beatus! <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm wearing black right now, so it's it's fine. It's fine. It's worried for you, yeah. A stoppage in your organs of echolocation. I don't have those, just eyes and ears. None! Not that I know of. The size, the shape, the proximity of predators. How then do you metricate such threats? By looking. It is dark in the neath. This is not good. We must disassociate. Is he concerned for me? <gasps> Hello, Seki. Hello, welcome in. Yeah, we're playing. We're playing a um a, a murder mystery dating sim. We are we are trying to um romance this this creature. They are not human. It is not human, and his name its name is Mr. Pages. Yeah, he cares. <laughs> I'll offer comfort. 
We've survived a great deal so far. We should not panic. <laughs> so far, you have survived only the fall, the communal catabasis. You have not been to the boatman, or heard the voice of the well, or faced the sh sh chas chasserage of hell. Do not boast of hardiance. What? Surely there are ways we could keep safe. Avoid the presence of strangers. Keep away from the sky. Abstain from absinthe. Tell no one what you do here. Break the mirrors in your home. Refuse honey to anyone who, if anyone offers it. <gasps> honey! Like the devil! Agree to all these terms! That's not so bad. Would it be impossible to avoid sleep? For a few nights, perhaps. We may requisite centuries. Ah. Uh, express my long-term commitment. I will do whatever is needed. Whatever it takes to stay with you. The other masters will not forget or go away. But all our time is stolen time. Uh. Yeah, please explain. I'm assuming it's like, because like, the, the, the devil said, like, they she, Rachel said that the devil had a jar of honey with a spoon in his pocket. Oh, it's a sedative. Honey is not honey. It leads to dreams. I see. Uh, take its meaning and ask nothing more. Offer the consolation of the written word. What does that mean? Dreams are very negative in the neath. Oh. That's why he wants you to break all the mirrors and stuff. Ah. Oh. Dream is kind of cringe. No EP. Laudanum laced sweetener. That's that's terrifying. Um Take its meaning and ask nothing more. What does that mean? And what does offer the consolation of the written word mean? I mean, I assume take its meaning and ask nothing more means, like, accept to all his terms without any of your own. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I, I assume that's what it means. I'll, I'll just go with the first one. I don't want to get him mad. I know. Then we'll make use of what we have. Okay. I have been thinking of you. Is your heart involved? Measure the degree. <laughs> what do you collectify and gatherate? What is the nature of your hoarding? Uh... Speak of my magnificent wardrobe. Speak of my hoarded routes to strange places. He is extremely direct, yes. I'm not sure if that's him blushing. Uh... Numerous items of clothing. I have garments for all occasions and situations. Like Mr. Vale's, then. Do not place yourself in the way of its monopolitans. Perhaps, however, a distinction may be found. Its domain is cloth, yours full garments. Uh, 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 uh. I have come to feel... Yes. Uh, 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 growing affection. I've developed strong feelings for you. Affection, even. Mr. Pages makes notes while I speak. In some spots, its handwriting grows more agitated. 
Here and there, it breaks into the cadence of verse. We find ourselves speaking of the fate of London and the changes intentionally made. The cavern of the Neath will naturally change in cer it in certain ways, loosening the physical restrictions. Other alterations are down to the master's deliberate efforts, according to Mr. Pages. The laws of marriage are rewritten, inhibitions of affection vigorously countermanded. Mr. Pages is coy about how this is accomplished, though it makes reference to water and to dreams. It seems to find a relief in telling me about these stories, perhaps secure in the belief that I will not understand them. I prepare to go, but we find each other, we find we each have more to say. We talk a little longer before we remember where we are and how much time has passed. Mr. Pages falls into a monologue from which I can extract only parts of meaning. It is distraught by the other masters. He trusts me! He's talking to me more about stuff! From its description, they are less than organized. They are less an organized force than a contentious cabinet, or perhaps a particularly disagreeable family. There are comments on the eating habits of Mr. Vales and the imbibing of Mr. Wines. Mr. Pages hopes, it seems, to complete some important project through census and gathering of texts. When this is done, it expects that the masters will scatter, released from their collective obligation. When we part, we are simmering with things unspoken. Yay! We're, we're making progress with Mr. Pages! I wonder if Grizz is gonna, like, give us shit for it. Eat up, Archie. Aren't you always warning us about lack of nutrition? Ah, I'm sorry, Horatia. You've cooked it as well as anyone could do. No. <laughs> Pages is a 13. <laughs> Why do we get under Mr. Pages' clothes? No! The, the, half the fun is the mystery! No! A 13! Like 13 out of 10! You freaking. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no need to tell me that. What are you brooding on then? It's thinking on my mother. If she thinks I was killed, I'll be, it'll be terrible for her heart. Um. Pages is a 100 million out of 10. Yeah, no, Pages is the best. 100% the best. The get, like, um, it's literally here to write a romance novel. Like, if that's not just freaking adorable. I don't know what is. Um, <laughs> it, uh, blah, blah. I've heard rumors that the surface knows exactly where we went. In fact, I'm told there's a rescue operation being prepared by a special team of German engineers, I've no doubt. Thank you, miss. I say, say I get out of this hole in the ground at last and all the way back up to Glasgow and find she's past uh, oh, grief before I got up there. Positively Greek. I've told you before, you should ask Grizz to help you. Ask me for what? I'm not a magician. I have hardly have I hardly have any influence at all. I'm little more than a clerk at the moment. Those masters know how to send a letter up to the surface if anyone does. Try asking. Can't hurt, can it? M my mother my mother begged me not to come all the way to London. She said I could study just as well in Glasgow. Okay, so it is Ireland. It's not Scotland. If I had to go away, then nay further than Edinburgh. There's plenty physicians there training. It was me that chose to put the distance. I'm not hugging Archie. Why'd you do that then? Archie makes a great show of being busy eating, though there's hardly anything left in his bowl. For a moment, no one speaks. Oh, he doesn't want to tell me. Okay, Archie, keep your secrets.
Probably has something to do with his sister. Pined for surface, missed family. I didn't pine for the surface. Archie looks like he heard you, uh, say I'm not hugging Archie. Yeah. <laughs> he freaking knew. Another morning, another newspaper. This morning's lies open on the table. Renowned scientist pronounces a recent events result, to, result of volcanic activity. Sun veiled in ash. I'm not too occupied. Otherwise, I can always ask my friend. la di da di da All right. Esther! Hello! Welcome, Raiders! Uh, thank you so much for the raid, Esther! How's it going? What were you up to today? Blasphemous! Wait, why does that ring a bell? I feel like that rings a bell. Hello! How are you? Uh, <laughs> I hope you had a good stream! Uh, welcome, Raiders! My name is Alfina. I am a Void Witch, and this here is my Eldritch Cat, Triton. He's a very, very good boy. Uh, we are currently playing a game called Mask of the Rose. It is a murder mystery dating sim, and we are trying to romance a creature. Side scrolling pixel souls like, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I hope you had a great stream. And Esther, if you need to get yourself something to eat, something to drink, uh, please do so. It is so very important to take care of yourself after streaming. And thank you for trusting me with your community. <laughs> yeah, we pet the boy. I love the cat. Yeah, his name's Triton. He's a good boy. He's a really good boy. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, I want to keep. I want to keep trying to romance him. It was a good idea to follow. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Seki. Uh, man, I wanna. I just wanna go romance him again. Let's go. I want to continue my romance with Mr. Pages. Uh, I'm gonna change. Do I have anything on my? No. Uh, gonna put on this. Murder mystery dating sim, right? Hi, Mr. Pay. Oh, he's glad to see me! We're making progress! <laughs> Andre Prosperous, that is sort of good. <laughs> There's a moment for my questions. I'm glad you weren't away. Mr. Pages comes closer to me and whispers promises only demi-comprehensible. It speaks of parabolan bordelances, of velvet bonds, of the knowing ad adcrepiscence of despair. What? When the, what was that cat? It's my cat. He's my boy. His name's Triton. Is he a Jawa? No, he's not a Jawa. He's a, he's a big creature. And crepiscence. I don't know what that means. <laughs> There's so many words here that I don't even know. I'm just assuming that they're good things. <laughs> Significant tall, taller than a. Yes, he is huge. He is massive. You two blink at the same time. That is correct. Yes, we do. Anticipation must be heightened before we proceed in this direction. Preparations must be made. If you permit, I will write to you. I nod. It goes to his desk and scribbles. Wait, he's writing to me right now? <laughs> I try not to watch what it is doing. It tries several colors of ink on several forms of paper. It mutters to itself and glances up at me from time to time, appraising. Once it holds up its, yes, we must call them claws, and measures out my height. At last, Mr. Pages offers me an envelope, sealed in wax and stamped with lettering I do not recognize. 
This is to read when you are solitary. We do not wish to entrust it to the post. There's a risk of someone reading it. Should I take a guess at its content and, like, make him flustered, maybe? Yeah, he's got claws! He's not... Sorry, it. It's a creature. It's not human. We don't know what it actually looks like. <laughs> no. Yeah, claws and sharp teeth. Uh, I want to take a guess at its content. This is a declaration of your feelings? It is an accounting or recounting only for you to read. <laughs> Mr. Pages also counts out seven coins from its jar. These are for expenses. What? Did he just pay me? The letter's written in pale ink on dark paper. The handwriting is Pages' own, spiky and very legible, and spots of ink show where it hesitated. It takes three readings even to begin to extract a meaning. Inverted orientation due to the underfluity of petal, claw petal claws, balancing of wings. Yes. Pages appears to be saying that it usually performs its seductions hanging upside down. Is it like a bat? <laughs> Albina, you are wildly appreciated and I will forever be thankful that I found your streams and content. Oh, thank you so much, Waffle Pirate. Thank you. Want the answer? <gasps> the freaking bats! It was talking about echolocation earlier! And when London crashed underground, there were a bunch of bats everywhere! It's a giant bat! It's a bat monster! <gasps> Oh my god! We're dating Batman! <laughs> Holy shit! It recommends that I go to Ferret's Menace Eradication and request furniture. Not a bed. It is something more intricate than a mere bed. I wonder how quickly I can arrange this! <laughs> It's Batman, yeah. This is, uh... We're gonna go... Follow Paige's directions for equipment from Ferret. <laughs> the nature of the commission is obscure for on the extreme. Perhaps Ferret will be able to make more sense of this document than I can. <laughs> oh my god! Where do I go? I need to go get the stuff! I wonder what happens when you get a, the bad trap ship. <laughs> oh, I am so, I am so invested now. I'm so glad we decided to romance uh, Mr. Pages. Uh, where do we go? Where, where, where? Okay, there's nothing to do there. A guy on still. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Maybe, maybe Harjit can show me a a gnome in a trench coat. No. Bats don't like reflective surfaces. That makes sense. Alfina, it's good to see you. Uh, I want some new destinations, please. Oh, there we go, yeah. Finding any interesting places today? There's a menace eradicator's shop around the corner in that direction. He points towards a couple of buildings. I can't see the path between them at first. It takes a minute before I, s I notice the alley that cuts between. 
Just imagine this massive creature standing before you. It lowers itself to your eyeline. It slowly leans, its breath grazing your ear as it whispers, I'm Batman. <laughs> that, that would be freaking funny. Oh my god. Is he taking you to this bat, to the, its bat cave? I don't know. Uh, it takes a minute of staring. Okay, yeah, I found it. We walk together, and every few moments, Harjit stops to point out a landmark. Or draw my attention to the place where the air smells different, or the sound of church bells can be heard. Ferret. There we go, we found it! Yeah! We found the spot! The sign outside, outside says this shop belongs to one ferret. This, presumably, is them. Uh. <laughs> ferret doesn't look straight at my badge, but it's been noticed all the same. Everything's all right and tight here, regular inspections and all that. Pay the constables their due. Uh, bond over our shared difficulty. <laughs> thank you, Arctic. Thank you. <laughs> My name's Elfina. Ferret. But you could see that on top of the window. Uh, time was when I would not have intruded on a stranger. Down here seems like any human companionship is welcome. Pleasure to meet you. Um, I have questions. I wanted to ask you a few things. Fair looks unsatisfied by that explanation. Not very difficult questions. I can tell that I chose the wrong moment. Uh, try to win Ferret over? Please tell me you don't have a surname. Ferret Wilson or Ferret Clark would be a terrible disappointment. Ferret's the only name I go by. No one saw fit to tell me it was a forename or a surname. Might have come down to me from a noble house, for all I know. Courtesy of me great grandsire and his wife, Lord and Lady Stoltweasel. That form. Do you have to put on it whether a person is a gentleman or not? Um. Uh. Says there's nothing on it about gender. Oh, they're non me. Doesn't ask anything about whether the person is male or female. That's good. Can't say I ever liked answering that one. Uh. Simply ask about. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, non me. <laughs> yeah, have a great night, Seki. Sleep well. People are always trying to fit one into an uncomfortable into uncomfortable boxes. You don't fit in either, eh? Uh Uh try to win ferret over. What sort of household is it? Uh have you got any anyone sharing in it with you? Friends, siblings, partners in crime, pets, etc. Ah, what's it to them? For all you know, I might keep a dormitory full of vermin-killing apprentices. Like my master did with me for enough years. Took me out of the chimney-sweeping trade and put me at rats instead. Um... I somehow don't fancy there's a spousal ferret about anywhere, is there? Strange thing, but I don't fancy sharing those particulars with your masters. It's my shy and delicate nature. Might put me to the blush if those things was to become known. Uh. I make the note. Oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting you until this evening. I'm seeing to customers, as you can see. Hello, Elfina. I already know the customer. I'm just by with a warning about the pub at the corner. More than usually, more than usually infested, is it? <laughs> If the publican hires you to clear the place, bring help and fire. Uh. Let's move to a happier topic. 
I gently redirect the conversation. Thank you. You're a very sensible person. Clearly very wise. That'll be the spiders. Um. Uh. <laughs> I remember when we didn't have all these troubles. No, we had a different set in it. Bad bit of beef. Transportation to Australia, sunburns. Back to business, though, eh? What else can I do for you? Uh... Inquire to the particulars... Wait, no. What did we want? What did he... I'm gonna look into his goods. What did... Yeah, what was Mr. Page? Oh, Mr. Page's request. There we go. Okay, I didn't know that was an option. Okay. There's something I was told you might help me with. What is it? I try to explain, but I get so tangled that in the end I hand over the paper. I see. We can do this. It's a complicated bit of engineering, but I'll find someone. There's two or three watchmakers that owe me a favor. You're lucky you didn't come asking for this before the fall. The authorities was more particular. So you can make what I need then? From the letter? Uh... Overpay. I'm gonna overpay. I'll give you seven pennies for that equipment for Mr. Pages. Well, now I'd have taken six, but they say generosity always does come back to you. Not sure it's true, Alfina, but I owe you one now. I'll send this round to the address listed when it's done, shall I? Whatever it is, it's likely to be... It's likely better for Mr. Pages to receive it than Horatia. Probably. Do come back, especially if you have anything of a verminous nature that wants looking into. Or if you meet any un any likely urchins that wants to uh, apprentice. I went looking for the ragged school, but they ain't to be found where they used to be. It is almost time to eat. Let's go straight to the table. Yeah! Oh, why is she mad? This morning I was in the basement checking our supplies. Is there much down there that's not mine, then? I'm saving a jar of pickle for Christmas. Something to give us a taste of old times. But I found a couple of rats down there, re reading the labels. Staring foolishly, perhaps. They were sounding out the words. Oh, brother who invited Chris. She lives with us. We all live in the same house. <laughs> Wait, what? This isn't the joke? They... She wasn't making a joke? The rats are actually learning to read? Yeah, I, I believe you. Oh, who invited Archie? <laughs> Chris lets this sink in. Why wouldn't they? I'm <laughs> Forming society's fall in London is a wild setting. This is really fun, though. I don't know what to make of that. I don't like to think that the blighted creatures might be planning. What the blighted creatures might be planning? From now on, I don't want anyone but me going down to the basement. Ah, uh, I have a heap of medicines down there. Some of them not finished cooking yet. If you tell me what you want brought up, dear, I'll fetch it for you sometime. But it's not safe scouting alone. <laughs> Fifty rats in a top hat. Oh, no. Rats deserve the right to read. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Did Mr. Pages teach them? That would be amazing. You've all seen the, you've all seen the bottles. Uh, uh, it'd take you a week to bring them up, and they're at a de delicate stage to boot. We'd not want to be shaking up the sediment. I'll bring up your things in cotton wool and bassinet if that's needed, Archibald, but I'm not having anyone else walk down there. I'm not losing you to that. Yep. Yep. I chew diligently. Dinner reaches an end. Is a rat catcher ethical? You know what? Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. Probably not.
Is a man catcher ethical? <laughs> Is a giant net? Archie bought one headlines read. Theological concerns within the Anglican communion prompt formation of new synod. All right. Rat catcher is an actual profession. Yeah, it is. Okay, I've, uh, let me see here. Pause. I assume that this saves every day. Log, stories. I assume that like this auto saves, right? I mean, I think so. Is rat poison ethical? I... I don't think so. Especially not in this situation. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop for today. I really wanted to continue this. This is like a fun game. This is a really fun game, but I'm gonna have to, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, it's a weekday and I got work in the morning. Yeah. No. <laughs> I will be back on Saturday though. I'll be back on Saturday. Can we visit Mr. Page one more time at least? Unfortunately, I can't. We're already like 10 minutes over time. What did you think of the game? I, I'm loving this. I'm really, I'm invested. I'm super invested in this freaking love story. This is nuts. <laughs> Fuck work, Mr. Pages. Yeah! Alright, let's go back over here. Alright, let, let's bring you guys out of the hat. Come on out, everybody. You guys are free. You guys may now uh, come out of the hut and frolic around in the just chatting room. Ow. Thank you, Frunko, for throwing an item at me. I appreciate it. Freedom! <laughs> you already miss him. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna see Mr. Pages again. We will see Mr. Pages again soon, I am sure. <laughs> Rights for rats. <laughs> yeah! Mr. Pages will be back soon. Now that we know that it's a bat creature, I find that really interesting. Heck yes. <laughs> no, you're not small. You're not small. Thanks as always for the stream, Alfie. Yeah. No problem. This is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. This is, this is different. Yeah. I've not played a dating sim in a very long time. This is this is fun. This is a different kind of dating sim. It's good. Mr. Pages will turn in Avengers Endgame. <laughs> yeah, this is so much fun. It's really good. Um, on Saturday, we're actually going to be playing... Um, Either Binding of Isaac uh, or some more uh, Cult of the Lamb. I might either make a poll for it or I might just like hop into Binding of Isaac because we had like only one stream of that so far. Um, but either way, we're going we're gonna to have a fun time. We're going to have a fun time on Saturday. And uh, we are going to... What else are we going to... We have a movie. We're going to be watching a movie in the Discord. We're going to be watching a movie in the Discord. Uh, it is called Your Next. It is a, uh, uh, a bit of a horror thriller kind of movie. Yeah, it's a movie night. It's going to be the last movie night of July. So if you are, if you uh, are down to, to watch a fun movie with uh, all the Voidlings, we are going to be doing that on Saturday night. Uh, you can check the event in the announcement page, uh, and you'll be able to see the, uh, the exact time in your time zone of uh, what time it's at. But yeah! Thank you so much for coming. This is a fun time. This is a very fun, fun stream. I enjoyed this. <gasps> yes, and it's your birthday, Ginger. Exactly. Please remind me. Please remind me uh, when you're there so that I can, I can uh, sing you happy birthday if you so wish. 
<laughs> All right. Let's have a look. See uh, on who is streaming right now. We are going to be uh, raiding yet another smaller streamer today. Smaller streamer. Let's see here. We've got... Ah! Oh, we've got Pinky! Pinky is doing a uh, recap of uh, her trip to Japan. She is a very, very, very cute model. She has an adorable model. And I would love... I don't think I've ever... I've, I don't think I've ever raided Pinky before. But I think, I think this would be really fun to do. I think this would be very fun to raid into. <laughs> she has a very adorable model. And yeah, she's uh, she's recounting her tales of visiting Japan. So yeah. Have I? I don't think I've, I've raided Pinky. If I have, I, I my brain... My brain... My brain smooth. <laughs> Masidon, thank you for gifting us up to Michael. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're breaking your 269th streak. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. We're going to see who's... Avon. Avon, you can't win. Mods can't win. No. Oh my gosh! Who's gonna win, Arctic? Is Arctic gonna get them? Avon, Avon is. Oh, they're both going for the. Oh! <laughs> Arctic wins! <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. I'll see you all on. Um, I will see you all on uh, on Saturday. I cannot wait to see you again, and we will play video games together. Uh, and I want you all to have a great night. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great night. Have a good sleep if you're going to sleep. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> sleep well. Don't forget to catch your stars. Bye-bye.